I don't know why. I mean, that's free money for him. Yeah, well, and that's then Yikes, Yikes actually said some smart shit. I mean, I don't Yikes get it. Like, I don't get I'm it. Not gonna... If Justin is not in a tournament, that's free money for somebody. Yeah, exactly. But, no, even, you know, if Stanford entered, if Justin didn't enter, Stanford entered, you know Stanford's going to win. Right, and I, I don't understand. And Yikes, Yikes was like, Yikes was like, I'm not going to disrespect myself by playing these scrubs if, if, if Justin oh. or Stanford. That's exactly, that was a quote. Cool. That's what happened, man. <laughs> oh man. That's what happened. I'm not even making that up, man. So wait a minute, who who wound up in um, winning Marvel anyway? Who won Marvel? It was Eric. Smooth Viper? Smooth Viper won, oh man. Yeah. I can hear his yeah, mouth I now. I can hear his yeah, mouth. Yeah, and now. then um <laughs> second place was Mike Williams. Good old honey Mike. He's uh Mike Infinite. So who's all over at the crib right now? Try fours, Justin Wong, Jin Master, and uh, the usual suspects, I guess. The usual suspects, and they're playing Street Fighter One. Yeah, Travis is trying to prove something by beating this game without dying. He got to Sagat without dying, but the Sagat just fucked this shit up. Shit. I'm surprised he beat it. Shit, I'll, it's like you know what? I'll wager. I'll wager. Yeah, he didn't lose a round. He didn't even lose a round until he got to Sagat. The Sagat fucked this shit up. <laughs> Pretty free. I I was gonna say I will wager like both my computers and no one be able to beat Battletoads on Nintendo. Oh, you Battletoads? Yeah. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Right. Am I not supposed to talk about the card? Nah, no, I'm not talking about. It. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat that game. I'm gonna beat that game without dying. It's... I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to that level. Dude, yeah, I'm the good. people that made I'm the gonna game, beat that game without dying. Dude, the people who made that game couldn't beat it. That was the rare. They, they they've never beat the game. The game is glitched, broken. Why? Right. That's what I'm saying. It's, it is ridiculously. I have played it. I beat. I've beaten it. But that was when I was a kid. And you, maybe you, that was you like you beat Battletoads. Yeah. Without cheating. It's free once you get to the end. Yeah, but I won't lie. It took me like a long time, like a couple years of playing. And it's just it's just basically memorization. That's all I had to do. I had to I had to just memorize patterns. You know what part sucked the most? I, have you ever played Battletoads? I gone far in it or beaten it? No, I mean I, I the, the second board. I was like, I oh, screwed this. Oh uh, man, that's not that hard. It's fucking I mean, it, into the it, fucking. It was, it was I mean, it's like I was like time where like I don't know my my I was like I was I forgot what what, what got my attention. I was playing something else at the time and I was like, nah. Screw this, and I, was, and I wanted to play another game. Man, the, you know what fucks with you, man? The 12th board, bro. The fucking rat race? Oh, man, you're fucking done. Mm, done. You fucking say you beat this game. You have to beat these rats. Just fucking fall and beat them. But these rats are faster than you. You can't, you have to fall. Oh, you could do hurricane kick in this game? I didn't know that. I oh, my you bad. you do hurricane kicks in that game? Yeah, he, he just jumped up and did a hurricane kick. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm gonna put up the radio for a second. The radio's not even up. Hold on for a sec. Oh, I didn't know that. My bad. I'm calling. I'm just talking to this guy. Yeah, I yeah. was like sleeping because I had to be up at five, and you just like. Oh, my and... fault, dude. No, I, I, thought, just I, think, I, I just assumed kidding. the radio was up. Ah, yeah, it's all good. Yo, I'm, I've been talking to him, and the radio's not even up. Oh, no, I'm recording, but the radio's not up. Bag doesn't even like real Japanese girls. Come on, man. Step your Game Hold on, I'm gonna get everybody listening for a minute. Hold on a sec. All right, I don't even know. That's cool. All right, let me let everybody know. <laughs> People are like hello random. Yep, it is gonna be hello random. I guess so, man. My fault. And it's, and it's Triforce versus Justin? It's Street Fighter 1. No, it's actually Triforce versus the computer. Nobody wants to play this game. Triforce is just playing the computer. A fireball does 50% life. Two fireballs in you. A DP does 50 Any special move does about 
Bagar and his hide your knees is two hits. It does 100%. Hide your how much is about 90%. How much does, um, how much damage does the, uh, does the hurricane kick do? The hurricane kick? I didn't see the damage. But it, it, I'm assuming it does around 50 as well. 50% damage. Yeah. And it's just one hit. I mean, he spins around a couple of times, but it's, it's probably going to hit. Oh, if you get hit by all the hits of the hurricane kick, it's 100%. What? Yeah, 100% if you get hit by all of them. Oh, he's gonna do hurricane. Hold on. <laughs> has has Triforce beat um Sagat yet? Yeah, it did 50%. Yet. Wait, Triforce. What guy? Sagat? I think he beat Sagat. Yeah, he finally beat it. Is Sagat the last dude? Yeah, Sagat's the last guy. Ooh, ooh, he c mean ass cross up. <laughs> yeah, you just hit him when, when it's the final hit, they just fall. You can see the dragon they don't even go in the air, they just drop. What strength. But don't forget, there are many guys like you all over the world. <laughs> Corny ass, in between rounds. What's just nah, but doing? the worst shit was fucking. The worst shit was when fucking. You did the, the double KO. You got a few double KOs. He, he, one, one, another round, so got one the first round, second round was a double KO, the third round he won, and he lost still. They're like, so got wins. What? I don't get that. The game doesn't know about round four. The game that can't understand the fourth round. And well, it assumes, I hear that, like, and, she... and, it, and it gives, if, and if it's a tie, it gives the double KO to the computer. So the double KO is calculated. Well, actually, I think that happens in Street Fighter 2. If you get, like, two double KOs, um, then I think you, that you end up losing it to put in more token. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That sucks, though. Ooh, who's this ninja guy? Some random ninja. Who's the ninja? What's, Just, what's Justin up to? Um, Justin? He's, not, he's looking at the computer. I'm looking at my... Everyone's on MySpace now. <laughs> oh, I remember, yeah. Triforce did an, uh, he did a dragon punch, and this ninja guy threw a ninja star. Why, the, why, why did the dragon punch deflect the ninja star? Because <laughs> oh. the dragon punch is invincible, dude. Yeah, it really was. If the dragon punch is still like that now, wow. It's supposed to be broken. I can't believe oh, you man. guys are actually fooling around with CCC1. Street Fighter 1. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know why he's not playing like ST or something. To try to force to get fucked up in ST, that's what he said. <laughs> Damn. Hey, listen, I like I got this new idea for <clears throat> a Marvel tournament and it's on a it's a it's not exactly a low tier tournament, but okay, here's how it works. It's like there's a point system. Your characters each character in Marvel is assigned a certain amount of points. Your team cannot exceed five points, right? Like so, so if a, some characters are worth a couple more points than others. Right. So like, Cable, Magneto, oh, Spiral, Blackheart. So like three point characters. All of them are worth three points, and then like yeah. two points is like Psylocke, Commando, Tron, Bond. Oh damn! Um, so that really limits you to what you can pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you pick, if you pick a three-point character, you gotta pick two you ones. Get, no, you gotta. If, if you pick a three-point three character, you get to pick two one-point characters. Yeah, you gotta pick two more ones. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So that's like you know, so like if you want to pick Sentinel, you want one top tier. You're gonna have to play yeah, with Mero and still pick something. Huh? Yeah, some people can rock. Some people can rock good with like Cable or, or Sentinel or something. Or Storm even. Yeah. So it's okay. It'll still work, but. Some what is I heard about somebody getting robbed by an Acuris player at NEC? Oh, yeah. I, heard, I don't know. I wasn't there, but even Justin was telling me, like, wait for the videos to come out. He said that an Acuris was, like, godlike. Like, he was really good with, like, a rushdown and trapping. But, and Sansan, yeah. 
Like he has like some some traps and he has chain you know, like guard chains and sh oh you're done. Just just you tell Justin that we heard at first that he lost that money match. Which money match against the low tier guy? Yeah. Against uh, the Knackers player? Uh, yeah, actually, when we first heard about it, they said that you that that Justin lost. No, I heard the I heard the Knackers player just has no defense, like he can't block. That's unfortunate. So. Yeah, so if he knew how to block, maybe he could play pretty good, but it's all right. Blocking's part of the game. Ooh, I love the bonus games and ooh. I have never played Street like Fighter the one. There's like random like guys with like blocks of wood, and you gotta break the blocks and shit. It's random. You just walk next to him, hit crouching, crouching hit, a jumping hit, or just a standing hit. Does the guy have a uh, have a scar on his chest, like in Street Fighter Two? The guy? No, you gotta give it to him. <laughs> nah, he he's, he's clean. You still got Man, the patch over his so eye. Poor. Yeah, he has the patch over the eye. Ooh, this song is so good. My fault. I got my iPod on at the same time, so. iPod. I loaded up. I loaded up my iPod lately, so. Yeah. Uh, so, like, what? What? Am I on the radio now, right? Huh? I'm not on the radio, am I? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my fault. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh yeah, he he did, yeah he did the hurricane kick. Yeah. What like okay. what um what, what game did Justin win anyway? Justin. Which Justin? Justin. What did you win at NEC? Third Strike CBS two. Low tier Marvel. Wait, 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 wait. He, wait a minute. He didn't enter <laughs> regular Marvel, but he entered low tier Marvel. What was his team? Let me guess. Gambit, Morrigan, Cyclops? What was your low tier team, Justin? Omega Red, Cami, Tron? What? Omega Red, Cami, Tron. I don't believe it. Ooh, this song's so good. I'll share it with you guys. Omega uh, Red. Cammy Tron. What the heck does that team have? Ooh. Um, only, oh my god. Wow. Yo, he did two. He did two. Fuck. <coughs> wow, he just did two dive kicks. They're not even dive kicks, they're just jump kicks. What? Ooh, good shit. It's Tron Force. Nah, they're playing Street Fighter. Again, he was on Gen. Gen just fucked him up second round. Like he just did two two jumping roundhouses, and Triforce lost like ninety five percent. I cannot believe you round, guys are actually round, playing head to head on Street Fighter thing. One. I mean, that's like playing Shaq Fu. That's like playing yeah. Like it's like playing <laughs> Shaq Fu competitively. No, not really. That's not that quite. Shaq Street Fu. Fighter One is not that. Shaq Fu's such a bad game. I think. Ju I think somebody. Yo, you think you could beat Triforce? You think you could beat Justin and Shaq Fu? Justin's never played Shaq Fu. Tell hey, Justin I'll money match him and Shaq Fu. Uh, <laughs> Justin. Justin, you got a new money match. <laughs> Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. He said he'll win. He said he'll win. I like how the fireball stays there. Like, it doesn't hit him. He's not going to win. He's not going to win the Marvel money match. Once you yeah. see my Hyota Gambit storm, he's just gonna be like, <laughs> "Damn!" I should switch. Man, it. it's gonna be Gambit Cyclops storm. You know what? Adon and Street Fighter One. You know Adon in the Alpha series. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, he's you know he's a black character, right? I didn't know he was a Negro. He. Why oh, they make him white? Birdie, Birdie, my fault. Not not Adon, Birdie. Oh, yeah. you know say. Birdie? Yeah. You know Birdie's black in the Alpha series as well. How how could you know? How could you not know he's black? Yeah, I'm just saying. You know how he's black? Yeah. Well, why is, why is he white in Street Fighter One? <laughs> he's what? a white guy in Street Fighter One. He's white in Street Fighter One. Yeah, he's white. He's white. <laughs> he's a white guy. <laughs> yeah, Street Fighter One's some funny shit, dude. 
but oh, man, Capcom I... knew that it had to do some racial, racial equality in those games, so that's why <laughs> they got to put a few more. Well, they had, oh, Thai- Thailand is like spelled all wrong and stuff. I mean, those are just little. <laughs> <laughs> Thailand is spelled so wrong. <laughs> this game was probably made in somebody's <laughs> computer in their spare time. I didn't even yeah. finish high school. Uh, let me log on IRC real quick. Let's see. It's it's dead. Oh, it's dead in alpha. It's in alpha is but it's, but it's active in Capcom. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just mashing away. Uh, server. Fnet. All right. Actually, you know, I I, I should log I should log on regardless and ask. I'm looking for some albums. Albums for what? Some music albums. Ooh, I got D Block. Our server, our Fnet. Dot net, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm trying to log in, but whatever. <laughs> Jealousy. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting D-blocked here. Actually, hold up. Trying to host me. Yeah. All right, I'm good. I'm on. I don't know. You're fucking with me. Join Capcom. Alpha is on radio. So what are you up to, man? No, I'm trying to get a car so I can keep a roof over my head. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, because, like, I've been... Uh, asking car to you. get... Get to your job. Yeah, I've been asking people to donate a few dollars if they can. I normally would never like solicit any money, but unfortunately, it comes down to those times sometimes, mm. man. Uh, Trap Force is trying to score attack Strider right now. Strider. Yeah. Is there a way to get them to come out faster, Trap? It's random. Oh, okay. You ever play the original Strider? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Come on, man. I watch you play the game all the time. You ever play the original Strider, Bunkai? The original? A long time ago. Yeah, it's good. It was a good game. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. I was, I was, like, hoping that maybe, like, one day Capcom actually do a remake of it, but... Oh. Uh, Triforce is just, just trying to get the highest score possible. Uh, he's telling me all these these tricks. Can't you beat that if you just run fast? Your character, oh, your character, you say about that? That's it. Tell Justin I'll do a money match for a time run in Rad Racer for Nintendo. A rat. Rad you, Rad Racer? You, Racer? you don't remember Rad Racer for Nintendo? I I've, yeah, I played it. Uh, that game is pretty rough, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. It you is. You ever play Night Rider? <laughs> yeah. You ever play Night Rider? I play Night Rider. I like that. The best car game play I Night played on like on Nintendo. The hardest oh, game I played was RC Pro Am. That game was like RC um, Pro Am. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That shit ain't for me. Man, that's. No, um, no. hardest game, Battletoads, without a doubt. Without well, a doubt. obviously, but, the, but, like, the hardest, like, Battletoads is racing game on the, I mean, it's like, RC oh, yeah, okay. Right, I, right. I can see that, then. Best, best racer on Super Nintendo, like, besides Mario Kart, is, like, um, there was, this, there was this another racing game called Top Gear. Top Gear, okay, I know Top Gear. In fact, I'll money match him in that, head to head. Nah. I even used the red car, which has like slow ass acceleration. I don't remember. I don't remember that much about the. I remember Top Gear, but I don't remember much about the actual details of the game. So uh, out over the days. Did you guys? Did you guys get a chance to play the Wii yet? Yeah, I played it. Oh, you we think play, I played it on on the launch day. I like the sports, and that's all I played. We actually had a, a, a tennis tournament. I'll money match anybody in that game, anybody in that tennis game. We tennis? 
money match. I'll money match anybody. You'll money match I'll anybody in Wii Tennis. Yeah, anybody in Wii Tennis. Any amount. I don't care. You're like singles Anyhow. or partners? Huh? Singles uh, or partners? Singles. Well, it, it, it's. Have you played it yet? Uh uh. Uh well, it's. If it, it's doubles regardless. Oh. Okay. So like four four players can play. But if you're doing one on one, then you can you control both people. Oh. So it's okay. always doubles. But uh, yeah, one on one then. I guess that's what I should say. Have you guys chance to play uh uh the Zelda on it yet? Um, we had it when we were there, but like I don't know. I guess a bunch of us all wanted to play. Like we didn't really feel like watching someone play Zelda, since Zelda's only like a single player game. Mm -hmm. So I haven't seen it in action yet. But we had it when when Louis came out. Well, so far but I heard, I heard it right, as it stands right now, the game to play right now on any system is Gears of War. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. that's a great. That, that, that Xbox is really smart right now with their fucking with, with the way they're releasing stuff. Yeah, I don't. I haven't even played Gears of War yet, but I heard it's really good. Uh, I mean, let me tell you something, man. I can't even have a conversation with my brother anymore ever since that game came out. Like wow. I was telling, dude, I was telling him how my car got repossessed and I was getting evicted. He was like, uh huh, uh huh, huh. uh huh. And then Gears and of War is Xbox tell. Live, right? Huh? Gears of War is multiplayer, right? Right, because he is was that, playing is that online like a hot and game stuff. Right now? Everybody's playing that shit. I mean, I, I was, telling, I was pouring my heart out to him and telling him how bad things are going. And he's like, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, you know what, I'll go ahead and talk to you later. He's like, okay, bye. Wow. And I'm like, I'm like. So check that out. I mean, if I had a TV and a, <laughs> and a PlayStation, I'm sorry, an Xbox 360, I, I sure would jump on that. I have a 360, but just I mean, haven't played it in a while. From what I've seen of the game, it puts anything to shame. Like, if you talk about graphics, why? Graphics are crazy, yeah, I saw that. I, I mean, it puts just about everything to shame, so. It looks like an awesome game, yeah. And then, I, then the Halo 3, the Halo 3, the uh, Cherlick, it was released. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not, I liked Halo 1. Halo 1 is the best. And it wasn't, when it, I liked it when, like, people weren't going crazy about it. I mean, people been going crazy about it for no reason, and I liked it for, I liked it by itself, regardless, you know. Halo I didn't 1 see what was people balanced. Found, I liked it, but I didn't see what people, like, found so crazy about it, you know, I'm like, it's just a first-person shooter. No, it's, it was balanced, though, because, like, it's not, like, one weapon. No, like, it was balanced. Halo 1? Halo 1 was balanced. Not at all, man. What Halo 1 was all about? about, all about the pistol. Pistol and sniper. That was, I mean, was okay, don't get me wrong. The pistol... Is like it's like the equalizer though. The pistol pre prevents the sniper and the, like and like um, the shotgun from being too powerful. You know, you put a pistol in my hand. The best, the best weapon in the game. Uh huh. It's, it's free headshots. Free shots. True. That's true. That's true. I mean, it doesn't even have to be three headshots. It's just three shots to the shield, and then the last one has to hit the head. Oh, uh, looking. <coughs> oh man. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Oh, well, you guys, yeah. are, you, you guys is Justin gonna have class out. tomorrow? What's up? Is Justin gonna have class tomorrow? You looking for another job? You gonna look for another job? Or? What? Oh, okay. What are you talking about? Nah. Um, this guy, Gin Master. He got a he got a job today. He just went to he went to apply to a place, and he was like, "Yeah, where's your manager?" So he can give the application to the manager, and like he waited mad long for man. He waited like forty minutes or so, and he was like, "Oh, sorry to come out." Like, and then Jim was like, he was just gonna be like, "Hey, what's up?" And Jim, you know, I'm Mike. But he was like, "Wait, hold up, man. I'll, I'll talk to you right now." And he's like, "When can you start?" And Mike was like, "As soon as possible." Like the guy's like, "Yeah, you can start today." So he just got a job like that. I'm like. I was getting a job with free like that, you know. What was he going? He's going to be doing. Um, he's some restaurant. He's working at some restaurant. I think he does deliveries though. But he wants he wants to like he's looking for like a boarding job. Oh shit! Oh, looking for he's a what? Like, so, 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 like a morning job, like a nine to five shit. 
Mike, if you want nine to five, you can work with me. You'll probably get like eight. Yeah, it's not enough. What, what, so, uh, who, who, who do you, what do you, what do you do again? Oh, that's why you work at a bookstore. Yeah. Yeah, I work at a books. Alright. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm I'm applying for I don't look very good right now, but I'm applying for a branch manager at Bank of America. Yeah, oh that's good. Good luck on that. That's good. That's my bank. I'll be calling you then. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, put, some, put some money in my account, and then, yeah. I, and then I'll transfer it to your account. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> being, muggle money. Being Bubba's <laughs> bitch boy for the next five to twenty years is not does not make up for putting money in your account. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. That's actually yeah, that's, yeah. Um, that's Jesse. Hold on for a second. A good old, yeah, three, three, way him in, man. Hold on, hold on, I got another call too. I'll, I'll switch back. Hold up. All right. All right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, what's up? Hey, hold up a second. Get another call. Hold up. Hold up. I'll be right back. Oh. Just... <laughs> I don't know, man. No, that was me. That was calling the other line. <laughs> He really clicked back in uh, a second. So. <laughs> I'm assuming. Oh, there it is. Huh? You dumb fuck. Jesse. Hello? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey. Sounds like you're in Hello? the movie again. Hey, is Mikey there too? Wait, what's up? What about movies? I say, nah, you moved it sound like you're, like you're on the move. Where are you driving? going? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Nothing. Uh, we're just chilling right now. What are you doing? That's what we want to know. Uh, I'm driving right now. Yeah, okay, that's what it sounds like. Driving where? That's what it sounds like. Uh, well, okay, I met this girl at work today. Uh, she works in the booth next to mine. You and, what? Uh, I, well, I met some girl at work today. Another one? And, uh, yeah, yeah, and I was, uh, I don't know, somehow she left her purse in my car today, so I'm bringing it back to her. Right. Good shit, a.k.a. Right. A.k.a. Let's get that. Right, he eat. is sowing his royal oats. <laughs> You're not fooling Man. anybody. No, 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 I, I think it should be okay. <laughs> That's right. I'm, sure, it, I'm sure she would hey. be very happy. That you're giving back her purse, and I'm sure she's going to invite you in for a dream. Well, <laughs> she only lives like 10, 10 minutes away, maybe, so it's not uh -huh. that bad. Uh, and I'm if, sure if she's going to... If I do anything tonight, which I, I'm not planning on doing anything tonight, but if I do, I'll do it for James. Only for James. Oh. Yeah, man, good stuff. So I'm sure think, that she's going to invite you for a dream. I think he didn't want to show on Friday. And she's going to hey, probably put some yeah. roofies in your... Your, your soda, you gonna wake up naked, tap the bed. Man, <laughs> I hope not. Oh, she's hanging out with me. Justin's hating on me, yo. Uh, Justin, Justin? Justin doesn't think I'm gonna get with Huna, man. Oh, man, was, man you, you better get on that, man. I was made to do it, bro. Hey, tag team. Huh? Tag oh, me yeah. in, tag me in. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, tag in Justin too. Tag in Justin. I'm randoming. I'm randoming her out. You know what? I I'm was just thinking, man. You know what? They have yeah, a show she, called. She's fast, she's fast, she's fast. You know, random James I'm and Jesse. I'm gonna random her out, man. I'll make a good Hit show. Her with her. Give her the random jam. That's that's that, yeah. <laughs> that, that's just that she's too good for me, man. Man, does Justin know who he's talking to? He's breaking my spirits, man. <laughs> nah, he's just egging you on, so then you'll think you can't do it, so then you'll try harder. I'm, I'm trying really hard, man. I'm trying hard regardless, man. He's <laughs> pretty godlike to me, man. Oh, if you're in person, she's godlike, man. Hey, 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 yeah, James. Gotta, you're not even looking at her feet. Does Justin still got that girl that he was telling me about last time, like, back in August? Nah, he's... Justin's done. She dumped him, didn't she? Justin's done. 
He's out there right now. He's, he's swimming. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, she dumped it, didn't she? She was tired of being left for tournament. Fishing. <laughs> Tell Justin you gotta spend time with girls. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Man, you guys are going nuts over whatever. I see that. It's a fucking black girl. It's Tell like him that sending girls videos of you beating you someone Marvel does not equate spending time with guys. Black here, right? Yeah. <laughs> nah, man, you just gotta finish in the ass. I wanna try that, man. I wanna, okay. I wanna do it with you now. Here we go with Alphas and Radio after dark. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, it's, it is Alphas and Radio after hours and shit. Yeah, man. It's oh red light God, radio. I, this, this I wanna, duck. I wanna. Since you guys hey, talking about not. ass sex and stuff, I guess I should call Duck and... Oh, that's fucked up. I'm mad. Look, look, look. James, James, just hit it, doggy, and then just start, start working it with the thumb, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know if my penis touches me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Just, just keep that. Oh. If you this is Ski. Enough, that shit'll get slick. Yeah, I know, I know that. Ski. <laughs> I know that. Ski. <laughs> Yo. We, uh... Yo, hey. What's Tell up? Tell me what you think about this. Well, my my girlfriend hey. bit my hand, right? He saw me. got in a fight and she bit my hand. I should have dug her teeth into it. I got like a cut Hello. on my hand. And now like, it's numb between my pinky and my wrist. And it's like man tight. I think it feels tight when I try to pull it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fucking James. James opened the wrong can of whoop ass. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> fuck, man. Hey. Up, man. Yeah, you fuck with the wrong bitch, man. Yeah. I mean, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. That. I missed that part. I mean, what, what happened now? All right, my <laughs> girlfriend. Right. We got in a fight. We got in a fight a couple of days ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. But, she grabbed, she grabbed my hand, my left hand, she grabbed my hand and bit it. Put she it in bit her mouth it? She hard on it, right? She what? And I got like a cut, right? She bit my hand, so she dug it pretty deep. She like must have damaged some nerves because now on my left hand between the pinky and the brain finger, I have like a thumb from Hey. hey, this is more. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Hey, who, is that Ryan? No, this is Ski Sonic. Who, who is that that's on the radio now, right? Ryan? Ski. Ski Sonic. Oh, hey, what's up, Christian? Uh, what's hey, Christian, good, Jeff? going to get that money right now. <laughs> Which money? Oh, oh, damn, that money? Damn. Yeah, that money. That's, that's, you, that's the mo money. <laughs> I wish I could get some of that. I'm, I'm trying to get paid, like. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. Alright, so, Ski, uh, 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 you got to the God right now. Huh? Yeah, I, I need to get on his level. Hey, hold on, but that guy's jealous on me. All right, man. Whew. Loud ass. Man, that's Jesse. a loud cell phone. All right, what was you saying, Ski? Yeah. I'm saying I'm that fool's on his level. He's on yeah. this level. Hey, are you a home? Uh, I'm other level. Uh, nah, man, I'm, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm about to go home pretty soon. Are you going to our place or what? Yeah, where are you at right now? Uh, I gotta drive, like, my fucking co-worker left their fucking purse in my car. Oh, yeah, Steve. <laughs> Listen to this. Don't yeah. that sound like hey, an obvious... Yeah, yeah, you're on the radio right now, with, like, fucking... What? Hey, Jow, it's what, what freeway is baseline off of? Trying to get Highland? Yeah. It's on the, it's on the 30. Oh, all right, cool. Hey, hey, Steve, I hope you was kidding about what you said earlier. I read some really disturbing 
some really disturbing things in Capcom about a certain, so a certain person seeing your picture. What the fuck is that fucking demon sound I keep getting? Ski? I don't know, it ain't me, man. I'm good. Is it me? Before I got on. Hey, fuck? Jesse. Yeah. Can you can you turn down the sensitivity of your uh, mic of your phone? Yeah, I'll put myself on mute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Damn, this PDA is so sick now. All of a sudden, because I can use Skype and fucking browse on the internet at the same time. Hold up, I gotta I gotta log off real quick. Trying to up, trying to update my uh. Ah oh, fuck! I hate. Ah oh, fucking shit. Hey Ski. What's up? I hope you was kidding about what you said earlier about somebody seeing your picture or uh your picture on Facebook okay. or something. Did what? Did I say something about my picture on Facebook? You said you said someone saw your picture. And on on Facebook, and then you, then you, some, there was something like, along the lines of, "I'm glad that I I don't really have a Facebook account, but now I know I'll never get one." <laughs> something like that. I think I was looking at pictures of girls on Facebook, mm -hmm. maybe, and, and I was just stuff. coming across pictures of girls and all types of provocative. Uh, Clothing and shit, and I was like, "Damn, I don't need to waste time." Oh no, no, no! You know what I play? You know what I I showed you guys? It was my school here. There's an anonymous confessional site, right? So people just go up there, and you know, you post whatever's on your mind, like, and it's anonymous. So somebody posted, "I just masturbated to your pictures on Facebook, and I came real hard," or some shit like that. And I was like, "That's why I don't need that." Hi. Was that, wait, wait, wait. Was it about, I, I assume they were talking about the pictures of the girls, right? Well, I don't know. It could have been a guy. It could have been a guy looking at pictures of guys. It could have been anything, dude. But but it, there was nothing indicating it was about you specifically, right? Oh, no, it wasn't about me. I don't even have Facebook. It was just uh, anonymous. It uh, was okay. somebody <laughs> to somebody else. So it uh, could be anything. I could be you have yeah, Facebook, but it's more than likely somebody that goes to my school. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, I'm, that, that, that makes you feel a little bit better, because uh, <laughs> if that had been your picture up there, I'd be like, if someone sees your message like that, I'd be looking at restraining orders. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'd be kind of flattered, actually. You know what I'm saying? You, don't, you, don't think, you think that's too, you think that's... Uh, that's that's bad. That's, I mean, dude, I that's that's that a compliment, it, right? It, it would be. It, it, I don't know. Disturbing. Well, not, well, well, disturbing is such a broad word because I've seen a lot more things disturbing than that. That's probably innocuous, like. But I don't know. For someone to you know, someone that is like, dude, I just saw your picture and I masturbated and came so hard. I I, I think that that would that would send chills up my spine. It's a compliment, though. I mean, I, cause you know, only reason why I see, I thought that was referring to you. I and thought you were referring your, to yourself because and your, and your pride. Uh huh. It should it should send chills up your pride because it's a compliment. It should make you feel good. So you tell me about, that if a guy come up to you and said, "Hey, I like your picture," that I oh, it's not. Huh? It could be it could be a girl. Wait. It was yeah. a girl. Well, that's different. Well, we don't know. It's anonymous. Oh, okay. I do. I mean... Hey, what's good with my direct deposit, man? Are you fucking serious? Uh -oh. I'm bad. I'm just... I'm just mashing on my own. I don't know. I'm talking to myself right now. Fucking mashing on life, dude. No, it's fucking... I, I signed up for direct deposit at work, and this is my pay period right now, but I ain't... I didn't see it clear yet. I just checked my bank. Uh, oh, really? It's like 3 a.m. Well, you know, it takes like two to three pay periods for it to go in effect, right? Mm, all right, whatever. So you should nah, start... Some, uh, some places is right away. They said I should have gotten by now. No, I mean, I'm saying it's take, it takes two to three pay periods for it to actually, like, go into effect. Man. So... Ghetto shit.
So you'd be, you'd be getting a paper check tomorrow sometime. I just want it to go. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, Let me get back to the N E. Yeah, man, I've been mad broke. <laughs> broke this out, man. I can't even do my laundry. I got no clothes right now. Damn. Uh, those are all uh, dirty it's in a box. And <laughs> if somebody will hook you up with some quarters, don't you? Your friends you just like. What? Actually, I'm in a similar position. I haven't done laundry too. Birthday party. Your friends with mad, mad people. Too, just I got mad clothes. Get a quarter you're from each fool, and then you're, you're straight. Uh, oh, I, I, I be boosting clothes here too. Like it's like you know I be like conserving stuff or like hey, like I'm down to two pair of boxes I'm like damn it you know, I might have to wash them out in a sink or something I don't know uh, I'm just kidding <laughs> but, uh, like I ain't got no quarters I mean it's like I told I told the property manager I'm like why would you put all these machines only take quarters and don't put one quarter machine there just put put a quarter machine there make everybody's life easier. It's like a dollar, it's like two dollars to do laundry per load, for double load. It takes, it's, it's like, it's like a dollar like load. two, two, twenty-five. And, and we have the most ghetto laundry mat, man. You're liable to open up a dryer and see a rat come out. I don't know, I'm not used to using a laundromat. No, I mean, we don't have a, la I mean, the laundry room is just really ghetto. I, mean, I won't surprise someone leave a baby in the dryer or something. So I mean, it's just Hey, what's going on with you, man? How's school going? Man, it's just a fucking... I don't know. It's just rough. I'm, I'm actually thinking about going to Walmart in a while and, and, and like, buying some, some school, though, because I just have it at, like, I don't know, some ridiculous number of, like, three or four or five chicks over this, like, last like three or four day period but this one chick was like go let me make you dinner so I gotta make this chick dinner gotta go buy some food you know what I mean look it up sometimes a man's gotta do it man sometimes a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do you know what I'm saying that's his way to a woman's heart through her stomach <laughs> oh I can feel it in my stomach. I can feel it in my stomach. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wrong? <laughs> How, How you do it? it? Huh? Hey. How you do it? <laughs> uh, hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still on the radio. Man, I'm on the <laughs> PDA now. Alright. Uh, How, How much did you pay for yours, Keith? Um, this one I paid like three fifty fours. Got I've had it a uh, more than a year. Damn. Is that it came down like to the game? That's so ugly. Oh my god! You ever played Strider and heard? What level is this? What level is this? Wait, 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 wait! You guys are still playing Street Fighter One? No, he's playing Strider now. Oh, he's playing Strider. Oh. How, how long has the radio been up to? Like, like not that long. I, I thought it was up when I called. I just guess. No, he called. He called like I guess it would be two thirty your time, Keith. Yeah, it was around two thirty. And I said, "Well, what the hell?" So I just put the radio. Okay, I remember the dinosaurs. Man. This wasn't even planned, you know. I don't even know who called. It's like, dude, don't you hate when people call and say it, and, and they be like, "Hello." And like he's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, who's this? He's like, who's this? I'm like, the fuck you call me? Oh, uh, yeah, man, <laughs> who's this? Damn, son, didn't you call me? Why do I even have to answer this question? <laughs> you have three orbs right now? Oh, looks like three. Uh, Yo, which strider are you playing? You playing an arcade strider? Strider one, yeah. Yeah, the Nintendo strider is too good. I don't know. It's the one on the Capcom collection, so I'm assuming it's the arcade one. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, did anyone watch that Super Turbo tutorial? <laughs> I heard uh, that shit was 
kind of like. I like the advanced tactics. I had no clue about those. It was cool. Have you guys ever seen the third strike tutorials on the Japanese uh, anniversary edition? Mm -mm. Ah, uh. they're pretty. Good. They're pretty good. They're actually pretty good. Uh, the Japanese edition of um, the, um, Street Fighter Anniversary, which had Third Strike and uh, Hyper Fighting, it had a pretty good Third Strike tutorial. It like taught you charge partitioning and like carrot throws, I think. Like, it taught you like real stuff. It was pretty cool. I'm like, damn, they like know about that shit. They gave you like combos. You could YouTube it now. If you just go on YouTube. You look up, oh. like, uh, anniversary, yeah, tutorial, third strike tutorial. You see the anniversary DVD, and they give you one for each character. Oh, uh, wasn't that one disc, that, like, CBS2 disc that was, like, in Japan, that shit was mad hard to find? I wonder if that shit's made it to YouTube yet. They need to redesign so you can make this shit mobile-friendly, PDA-friendly. They need, they need a PDA version. Uh... You don't... Shit, I, know you, I know this Xbox. If you have a modded Xbox, you can go on YouTube on your Xbox. I go on YouTube on my Xbox. So someone could probably just make a small little program. It's just reading. It's basically just reading fucking Flash. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's like an SWF viewer. You can probably do. I would convert it on my computer too, like, I could download videos off YouTube and convert it to like AVIs or eggs. <coughs> I mean, that's it. So, Smooth Viper won Marvel. Yeah. And NEC. Now he's going to EVO, so that means next year Evolution is already guaranteed to be hyped. Huh. Shit. Bill might go next year? I mean, I mean, he might. Bill should go next year. So, now we know Eric's going. Bill should be going. All we need to do is get Brahim there. And I think, I think that possibly, war, like... Yeah, Brahim is pretty funny. That He's maybe the moon guy. is going to crash into the earth or some crazy shit if we get, like, all three of those together. Mm -mm. Uh, Brahim is funny as hell. Uh... One, one Marvel tournament? It's going to be nuts. Probably they're gonna bring down the whole Red Rock or whatever. It's just gonna be ridiculous. Red Rock. <laughs> if, it's, if it's after the Red Rock again. Yeah, I know we just can't wait to play more ca uh, bathroom casuals, right? Huh. Yeah, I played a lot of casuals actually during the CVS 2 semifinals because I was so mad that I didn't make it out of my bracket. I, I actually wasn't mad that I didn't make it out of my bracket. I was mad that I missed a combo. My fucking shit. Yeah, I played. There, there was a lot of good casuals going on there. Like, I mean, I guess they really weren't that good because the quality of the casuals was pretty garbage. Uh, at that point, with all the good players were in the tournament or watching the tournament. But hey, there are lots of people to play games at Evolution. Everybody should go. That's right. Uh, yeah, they're trying to make it really big next year. You know, I've heard some some secret yeah. stuff going around that I can't even talk about, but it's it's y'all y'all should really like start planning for it because even even uh I think the regionals try might be uh a little bit bigger, a little bit like nicer next year. I don't know. Yeah, I've been playing Plan for Eva. You've been playing what? Third strike. Well, character. Uh, I, I play Urian. Uh, oh, yeah. Just press a little fierce at some point. <laughs> uh, I try to. Oh. I, that's my pop, I think. I think I go for it too much. I try to get a parry sometimes, I'll whip it. And it sucks. Oh, my God. Or, like, I'll get one hit of it. Can't yeah, so shit in a fireball or headbutt on some RX shit. <laughs> it's easy. The, the charge partition. The, I could do the combos pretty easy, but I just need to. I just need to get the hit. But the combos are easy to do. My my charge partition is pretty good. Oh man, I forgot to talk to Murdoch and ask him how come he didn't win. He didn't win Marvel. I saw it in one of his posts. He said, "I took 
Because this was my first tournament or something <laughs> like that. Oh, God. I'm <laughs> that. Let me guess, he's going to say he's going to win ECC or something. Probably going to say something like that. I don't know. I'm going to go make some food. I'll be right back. You going to make food now? Yeah, he's going to make some food. Man, I could... I could, I could Jesse's done, right? Huh? Jesse's not on the floor no more, right? I don't know what happened to him. He probably made it to the girl's house. He's right now probably being tied to the bed. With handcuffs. Oh, good dick. I respect that. <laughs> yeah, I just hope he tapes it, that's all. <laughs> what's good everybody shit. else doing? What's up? What's, every, what's everybody doing over there? Uh, uh, this is like my knockout time, but Tom is still trying to, he's trying to get his high score in Strider. Doing his timeouts in the dinosaur stage where the dinosaurs give him like the most points. And he just keeps killing them over and over again while they spawn and he's trying to get like the highest score. There's a r random fish that come out to you to give him the points. So he's just maxed away on points. And then he's gonna, and then he's gonna beat the game. So you can get the highest score. He's just trying to get the highest score possible. Tells Justin to practice up a Mario Kart. Mario Kart? Uh, he hasn't played that in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a one-time wonder for him. They got, they got it at Evil. I'm gonna play it. Oh, I didn't win. Okay, good shit. I'm done. I didn't play that. Huh? You didn't play Mario Kart? That's a hero ski, messing around with the pot. I learned snaking, and uh, he taught me snaking. I learned it in half an hour. It, it is easy. It's easy to snake, but it's also better to have a DS light. It, it, the DS light controls are a lot more. Oh, I love DS Lite. DS Lite is like the best yeah, thing. Yeah. Know. I didn't say it. It's just the uh -huh. best thing. What's up? It's like, DS Lite owns you. Yeah. I haven't picked one up yet. I'm waiting for the new, the new Pokemon. I'm ready to start fucking people up with that new Pokemon. The new new po the, the, the yeah I guess per Perlin nah I don't know when it's coming out but you know what's coming out and uh, by the way I'm not, not that a lot of people care but guess what's coming out in two days well actually what? it's being they're gonna show the preview for Final Fantasy thirteen thirteen yeah a preview for it like a teaser trailer yeah Final Fantasy thirteen thirteen. Already? That's yeah. <laughs> uh, they're not gonna stop. Why are they gonna stop them? They have a fuck full fan base ready to fucking throw away money. But you gotta realize that, like, the people that made Final Fantasy. It's like you know why Final Fantasy was created, right? You know the, the, why it was called Final Fantasy? Right. Supposed to be the Final Fantasy? Where's. Yeah. 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 Squaresoft is like, yo, we're getting fucked up right now. We're going to make one last RPG. Our, our company's not doing really good. Yeah. Like, Dragon Quest is fucking us up. You know what? Let's make let's make a game called Final Fantasy. Oh, shit. This shit sold really well. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, we're going to make another one. They just kept going, man. Of course, man. The game. Oh, tell him that I sent you. Here, I'm going to give you a little SRK music. Hold up. Uh-oh. It better not be black tastic. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah, I can hear a little bit. Oh, come on. That's the anthem right there. Hold on. Oh, my God. Come on, man. You hear that? 
No, they don't know about that on the West Coast. I'm not ready. <laughs> not ready for it, man. Can you barely hear it? I can play it off my computer, but it's alright. You know, my oh, I hope some people is. can relate. James. You know my favorite rap is, right? Nah. Nah, right, hold on for a second. You know, I haven't oh played in a while. Oh boy. Dip for life. <coughs> oh shit. Alright, here we go. Kinda mad right now. All I have left in this world is my faith in Jesus All I could ask is that he keeps me on the right path And forgives me if I go down the wrong one Blacktastic 2K5 Bitch, yo, I used to fuck chicks and I used to eat pussy One day I looked down at my cock covered with pussy to break My life was on lock and I needed a key Little did I know the key was a dick and my face was a lot All I needed was a cock in my mouth I need a switch, I don't wanna fuck chicks I just gotta dish my licks and get my fix of a pile of dicks Stacked up like bricks You there? <laughs> How can you forget about that song? I put out, uh, I don't know, man. It's been a while, man. With good old Skeletor G. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he hasn't been on the radio show for like three months now. Yeah, no, I think he, his he, dad I I found I out, I and I, I think he banned him from using the phone, I think. Uh, I don't know. He actually sends me instant messages. He's like, yo, random James. We need to we need to do this and I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Dude don't even talk to me no more. What's up? <laughs> he don't even talk to me no more. Uh, I don't know. He's random. Daryl. Yeah, that's what his name was. At least that's what his screen name was, so whatever. Uh 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 uh. Oh shit. This stage was hot. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, do you guys call them yet? Because you know that guy needs his radio attention. No. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think he's gonna call in. Yep. I mean, not unless not unless Triforce gets on the phone. Unless Triforce gets on the phone, right he'll, he'll probably get on the. <laughs> I don't think Triforce is really interested right now. Try first wants to beat the game real quick. He's trying to beat Strider and then he'll come on. Let's tell Try first. He might want to listen to the to the show from Saturday. On Saturday? Uh huh. This past Saturday. Try first. You might want to listen to the show on Saturday. This past. From Why? Why don't you just play it? I don't have it. <laughs> oh, you suck. How, how, are you, how is he going to listen to it? Who can download it and play it right now? I don't know. Let's go to the videotape, bunk. <laughs> what are you cooking? What's up? I, what I, had, I had leftovers, oh. so I just heated it up in some rice. Some ice coffee. Yeah, I'm good. Can't go wrong with the leftovers, man. Nothing wrong with leftovers. Ooh. Hey, man, it's my own leftovers. Good. You let it sit an extra day, then, like, the flavor sets in. That shit can taste even better. Man, you killing me over here. <laughs> you know what's always good, man? Sloppy Joe's. I've had sloppy Joe's since like. If you got sloppy Joe left over, they still good, you know. Like, <laughs> sloppy Joe's, man. You can't, you can't fuck up sloppy Joe's ever. They're <laughs> <not to> be, <laughs> you got sloppy Joe left over, you can't. Oh, this shit. I remember this boss now. He's going with a couple forms, right? Or it's just 
something major that comes out. And oh yeah, this is the one I played. Uh, I played the Paul Mooney interview. Yeah. What? No, we were talking about Kramer. You know, using, you know, calling the, the two black uh, hecklers in the audience niggers and stuff. And Why don't you attack it? Hmm? Oh, you got like a set for it. Oh, okay, sure. No, I'm wondering why he wasn't attacking this. Oh, so you could get up here? You just need to let Kramer you have a fight with some appropriate black guy. I don't know, maybe like... Urkel is about his size and height. Or maybe they could have maybe Wayne Knight. I mean, not Wayne Knight, Wayne Brady. They can maybe have Wayne Brady. He could just have a fight with Wayne Brady, you know? Something like that. I think that'll smooth things over. Oh, those, that checklist is, is, um, to unlock secret stuff in Capcom collection. I'm mean, wondering what, what that fucking checklist is. Actually, um, <laughs> I think uh, that checklist is destroyed. He, he, you know, I mean, I don't know. He's, ava I mean, he's available. I mean, in a month, no one will even remember. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Triforce regardless. Yeah. <laughs> it's Triforce. I'm, I'm getting random out right now. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's up, Triforce? What's going on? Not much. Uh, how's your weekend been? Uh, no, I think it was okay. Yeah, I kind of liked it. It was fun. It's some random tournaments here, though. Well, ra random what? They had some random tournaments, like the side tournament. Uh huh. It was like um, they had uh, they had no people that he fought. They had uh, tournament fighters. Oh, hold on for a second. One second. I just had to put up. Look at this bullshit ass score. See, that's how you know the Twin Galaxy score Strider is fake. They got three hundred and sixty something thousand points. I did the exact same thing that that guy did. Now all I got was 250,000. But you want to know something? I went to the options screen, I changed the difficulty on the game, and I added extra men. Put the difficulty on hard and added extra men, and I was able to get the same. In fact, I was able to get more score than what the guy had, but it was relatively real close. So I, I knew, that's how I knew that, yo, yo Twin Galaxies is fake sometimes. Yo, niggas be helping each other out. Niggas be rigging the score before the shit even started, then, go, then they go like, all right, this is what you have to do stay within the rules of making um, records in the world. And then after they already broke those rules, like that, they'll tell everyone they have to play on normal, but they played on hard, got the high score. They tell everyone else to play on normal, so there's no way for you to get the high score. Like, good shit. <laughs> That's good shit, though. Whatever. But, like, at um, NEC, they had, like, tournament fighters. There's a vampire savior. Uh, what else did they have? They had some... They had, so some guy was playing Mortal Kombat. Um, what was it? Mortal Kombat 3 or Ultimate? Mm -hmm. He was playing on a keypad. And he won the tournament. Mm -hmm. On a keypad. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That must have been Shock. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it was. I, I, yeah, I don't know who he was. Because, yeah, because I talked like to him earlier tonight and he said he won um, the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 tournament. So He was Shock. EWA e Shock. Yeah. But he won on a key. He won on a keyboard. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. He fucked Julian and Jerron up, and I know they don't suck. I don't know how he do it. I t yeah, he said it was pretty cool. He says that he had it. Yeah, they, they, they was running it on main, man. He went and just yeah, they were running on main. Yo, what you know about the random ass magical drop tournament between um, Justin and uh, Brian? Yeah, Brian was talking so much shit, B. <laughs> he was talking so much shit. First game, he raped Justin three. I'm like, he beat Justin in like less than four seconds. It was a first attempt. And, but their first attempt was by sets, like two out of three equals one game. So, like, Justin played the first game, he raped him in like three seconds. Played the second game, he raped him in like four seconds. And everyone's like, he was raping Justin up. He said, go stick it, stick to Marvel, stick to Marvel. Yo, and Justin said, oh, I just wanted to make sure I was getting myself straightened up. Yo, after Justin got himself straightened up, the <laughs> that counter rate, magical drop. Yo, the counter rate was so, it was so serious. Yeah, he was 
started he started to, he didn't even know the fuck what the fuck was going on. Like Brian was doing like a seven chain on it. Justin just stopped there and stopped moving. He's like, Aren't you gonna do something dumbass? And then the minute the combos came down on Justin, Justin countered everything. And he's like, I'm countering you, you fucking big big head blockhead motherfucker. I was like, Oh shit <laughs> It was that funny. It was not uh, funny. It was just, I hope that was recorded because I wanna see that. Oh man. what? Yeah. Basically. It's like, I mean, it's, it's, it's just not often that you hear someone talking shit um, on Justin and Marvel. So, I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm like, someone's talking shit on Justin and Marvel? Nah, no one's talking shit to Justin and Marvel. Like, I'm like, except for, the only people who be talking shit is like Sanford and Yipes. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, that, that's good shit. You need guys talking shit to you need, oh, Click Her? What's her name? Tiara? 30. See, all these fine ass, big ass bitches in California. Fuck you, hoes. <laughs> Why are they requesting you? We can't fuck them. They're all the way in Cali. She has a nice body, though. Bitch shit. <laughs> Yo, let us know when we come out to Evo what's really good. <laughs> Raheem versus Justin. Okay, I gotta make sure we check that out. I saw the Vampire Savior. Someone already managed to up that on YouTube. And, uh, oh my goodness! So many tournaments they need to um, put on YouTube. Yo, it's so it's really yo. When y'all see the Anacharis, Tron Bond, and Sun Sun, yo, straight up and down. I think that's just gonna inspire people to stop picking new characters in Marvel. That's worth it, guys. Cause I I hate that game. I really hate my body. I really, really do. But when I saw that shit, I was like, okay. If people can get this creative with these low tier characters, oh, oh my god, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 will be born. And I don't, and what I mean by that, I don't mean like Capcom will be making a new game. Like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with the low tier turn into Marvel 3. You can replay that game all over again. But, like, I, I don't know. I, I think people are lazy. I don't think they want to, they actually want to play the game. I think people just want to sit there, be not fucking lame, and, and just be like, yo, fuck that shit. Well, they you know, I already uh, challenged Justin to a money match in Marvel. Who? Cool. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, oh, shit. Well, he, once you see my, my Gambit Cyclops going, he's going to be, he's going to know, he's going to know the new word of, no, no meaning of the word pain. Oh shit! I just found out something. Um, Black Tiger on this Capcom joint. If you put it on, even if you put it on custom, it's n uh, normal you get infinite continues. Hardcore you get. But even if you cust, even if you custom this shit, you get none on hardest. I need a seven man. I'm gonna read this shit right now. Yeah. Um. Uh, Justin, Justin, Justin pretty much uh, raped everyone in the tournament, but Jim Nasta and then Sanford was on some other shit in Texas. It came out of left field with that bullshit. All right. Justin put Jim Nasta in the loser's bracket, but then Jim Nasta comes back and beats Justin and comes out to fight Sanford. Like, now, Sanford wins. I don't even know that Sanford played Tekken. Sanford, you want to hear a, you wanna hear a, a, a did you know fact? Hmm. Did you know that Sanford was always a Tekken player? His first fighting game was Tekken, and he followed the series long before Street Fighter. That's something a lot of guys don't know. He, his brother, him and LaShawn, used to be at like, Game Express playing, playing that shit mad hardcore. Man, a lot of people don't know that. Sanford was a Tekken head long before uh, Marvel. I mean, the only reason why like, he followed Marvel is because like when he first started in Chinatown with Jerron, they used to go in there and beat up the random fog, the King of Fighters. And when they first heard about Justin... And they'd be Justin up in, um, like, King of Fighters and shit. They wanted to prove how nice they were. But then, like, Justin kind of ate their food in Marvel, and Sanford didn't like that taste in his mouth. So since then, he's been like, all right, I got to destroy Justin in any fighting game he touched. So basically, he just follows him. Whatever fighting game it is, and that's what he plays. And that's why, like, that's exactly why he literally, um, like, dropped out of the Marvel tournament. I'm like, because he took off of work to fight Justin. That's the fact that Justin was not going to play. So he was like, what the fuck? So, like, what? so did Yikes drop off for the same reason? 
judge was like, niggas is trying to disrespect him straight up. What do you mean Stafford and Justin's not playing? So he's like, y'all think I am dog shit? And I was like, yeah, fuck both of y'all are losers. I'll fuck both of y'all up. I don't get shit. Yeah, you got to respect the man who says that, you know. He don't, he's not scared of those dudes. He, he wants to play there because he, he likes it smart. He knows in order to get better, he has to stay consistent by playing the best. If you stop playing the best and you play people underneath that, you know, straight up, it's no disrespect to anyone, but, yo, you're going you're gonna to fall off. That's just the truth. And people are like, yo, they're being big-headed. They're not. They're just trying to keep, stay on the top of their game. And guys like Justin and Stafford is the top of the game. If you play under them, yo, you're going to lose. People may not like it, but that's that's the truth. And what, what, what more can be said? Oh, oh that shit! Right, so Smooth Viper ended up winning <laughs> the tournament. Yep. But Justin won CBS two and third strike. He won CBS two and third strike. It's not funny because like we we thought like the way I looked at it, I was like, okay. Um, hold on a second, let me fix myself up, because, like, playing in this position and being on the phone is hurting and shit. Um, oh, let me check. The way, um, the way I looked at it was like, um, no, the way I looked at it was like, okay, not adjust the staffer and yikes is out of the tournament. It's a, the tournament. I didn't want the tournament to fall to pieces and turn into a wash up. So I was like, okay, whoever wins this tournament, you know, the Empire buy them a ticket to Evo. Okay. Shit started to change. Mm-hmm. So random, random shit started happening. And what you know about, what you know about motherfucking Blue Jay yapping it up in the tournament beats, um, I call Demon Hire, but in all fairness, though, like he he beat Demon Hire before Demon Hire was told. Um, like, wait a minute, did he? No, no, Demon Hire lost. He lost. He got put in a lose bracket already randomly by someone. Like, cause I think I guess he didn't care anymore once Justin and Sanford was out of it. And yikes! But then after that, he had to play six and DJ actually put him out of the tournament. I was like, good shit. But then, you know, I don't want to say Blue Jays are bummed because Blue Jays been practicing with um, Yikes a lot. So, no, he did do well. He did do well. But, yo, straight up, there's an agonizing problem in the fighting game community, straight up, especially with the tournament. And one problem will always remain the same in most underground events, you know, lack of chicks, son, straight up. Like there was this one, there was this one badass Asian girl. Well, I say she's badass because of her legs. And Justin was like, she I, I was like, well, yo, she was hot because of her legs and shit. She had she, she wore some skirt that was like, like it was slit all the way up to her thigh and shit. There's one time when she actually sat down, you could see her whole ass. I was like, what the fuck? Nigga, Infinite was like, yo, what's really good? So now nah, Infinite, she's with that guy. He's like, yo, fuck it, I'm, I'm willing to get my ass off. I'm like, yo, you're beastly. But, you know, straight up. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay. And, like, straight up, there's not enough girls. It, it, surprisingly enough, there was some girl from the PMS clan there. She was playing DOA and shit. And outside of that, it was, that's about it. Brian H1, Tekken Tag. Even though Brian Heen and Red was boasting that they're the best in the world in the game. And hey, let me ask you a question. Something that just popped in my head. And uh, about the, the, the MTV spot with the Empire, yeah. it's like, is it? I mean, is it true that they that the footage they used from the from the tournament was not really tournament footage? Um, no, it is tournament footage, but it's how they use it. You guys, you guys gotta remember, they're a media company. They manipulate anything they want. They make they make a fucking scrub god if they want to. Mm-hmm. And the people have to understand it's fucking into me. What the fuck? Like, like, for instance, uh, the way they wanted to portray, um, the way they wanted to portray, um, what's the name of this event? T7. They wanted to portray it, like Empire Cadia versus T7 and whatnot. And to them, they were like, their thing was this: whoever won the tournament, they were just gonna portray like they was gonna um, restructure the story. 
so that it could it could uh, what what was this thing entertain the mainstream. So they didn't care how the tournament was won. They already had a way set up for what they felt the, the tournament should look like, you know, because they wanted to be digestible for um, mainstream people. Because like I told everyone, they're not marketing this shit to the underground community. They don't give a shit about this. But then at the same time, that's a double-sided story because, like, in order to get the underground community known, you have to give a little to get a little. I and mean, like, if we go, no, well, if you're not going to portray it the way we want to, we're not going to allow you to get into our tournament. Then to them, they're going to be like, okay, who gives a shit? We'll just go to World Cyber Games and show, you know, the FPS community. <laughs> I'm like, how do you think the FPS, FPS community even started to begin with? Do you think they really, when, they, when the media first got involved, shit was shown the way was at QuakeCon? No. Well, I mean, it, it, I, I can understand. You know, it was something that I was talking to, with DSP about. You know, I understand the concept of you got to, you know, to give a little, get a little. But you might have a hard sale on your hand if you, if you, um, if, you, I mean, if it really gets to the point where, I mean, I can understand both sides. I understand your side. But I can understand if, the wait, 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 Canadian players a little bit side. upset wait, 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 how they were on. exactly portrayed. That's not, I, that's not my side on it. Like, this is me telling you that does not mean I agree. That's MTV side. I don't agree with it. Remember, we signed what, any media company, anything that they film for me, and this is anyone who even knows anything about media company or dealing, anything that they film of you, they own the rights to. They can manipulate, change. Once you sign that contract, that's it, done. Anything they put the footage, they can do whatever they want with it, and there's nothing you can do because you have to sign off on that. That's that's just how it is. They don't give a shit what you think. That, you know, like for instance, there's a part where they were like talking about Empire Arcade as the best gamer, and they show a footage of Sketch from last year at Gamers Week 1.0 from last year. They show Sketch doing this thing in DDR, fucking you know, uh, raping the tournament, and the way it. The way it's portrayed in the video is that Sketch is a part of the Empire, but he's not. But guess what? In order for Sketch to be on MTV 1.0 last year, he had to sign that contract. So MTV reused his image and and manipulated it to the point where it looks like he's in the Empire, but that's not true. I'm like, I'm the same. Th- they're gonna do the same thing to us next, like at the end of next next year, and then like the next year again. You know, I'm sure they're gonna take footage and use that shit. To portray whatever they want to portray. Did, but did you know that? The, did you know how that, that the, how that MTV uh, spot was going to be edited? Like, you know, did you know what the final product was going to be? No, like? like the final, the final cut. I was not aware of what I, what I became. What I, oh, we had something called um, what's the word for this? The Empire had something called um, oh, damn Shankar. What the hell you call this shit? Uh, Shankar told me what it was. I'm a creative consultant. We were the creative consultant. We told, we, we gave as much input as we possibly can to, um, to like to get shit as close, as accurate as possible. The point system that they showed on TV was based off the point system we told Nagata lot that we were going to use because people have mainstream does not know what the hell goes on in SRK based or or related tournaments. They don't know. So they needed a... People understand points. They don't understand brackets and, and mix-ups and resets and all that other stuff that's in the company. They don't understand that shit. They only understand points. Right. So they, they, they need a point system to, to regulate how the tournament was going to be. I even told Nagata lock that before the, um, the, the, the tournament even started. I told him, like, five months in advance, look, we need to make this tournament is going to be portrayed as a multi-video game tournament. Because when we originally pitched the first sales to them, we told them it was a fighting game tournament. They are like, we're not interested. So I was like, what if it was like a multi-game tournament that had fighting games? They was like, it depends. We may consider it. It depends on what games you have in it. I said, what about like the latest games that, you know, perhaps you can get sponsorship from or, you know, if you use it, you know, other companies will like accept it. And there's like, like for what example? And there was like DDR, which is a Konami-based game. Um, you call it Tetris DS, which is by Nintendo. Yada yada yada. And they was like, okay, no problem, because like, what a lot of people didn't know was this: that during that same time of Gamers Week, um, you had um, the TRL had a Dance Dance Revolution episode. No, 
that's that's Revolution Super Nova episode. So that's why they was like, okay. And then the Nintendo Wii was launching that week. So by us promoting, you know, Tetris DS, we're promoting the Nintendo DS. So when they found out, they was like, okay, we're using two major games or two major companies in today's time relevant to what's going on in today's market. They was like, all right, we'll take in the fighting games of it. But they really didn't want to take in the fighting games. I keep telling these people they don't care about fighting games. They don't. They don't even care about Tekken, Virtual Fighter, and Dead or Alive right now. They, they actually don't care. They, they're more actually interested in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And I'm like, you know, the fighting game community, I'm like, oh, that's bullshit. Fuck that game and yada, yada, yada. But it's not fuck that game. It's fuck you. They're the ones with the billions of dollars. They're the ones with the power. They don't care. And unless the fighting game communities want to get together and use all 50,000 plus, because that's what I have down to to actually make a voice which won't work, which will be meaningless because three point something million people bought Smash Brothers Melee, so it's fifty thousand Street Fighter, Tekken, DOA, and Virtual Fighter players to three million Smash Brothers players. Uh, until they band together and equal those numbers, their voice is powerless. It means absolutely nothing. So we had to, I, I, I guess you can call it, sell out a little to just gain that one perspective, you know, that one portion just to even get CBS and Marvel shown. Now, a lot of people are like, how did Q win? What did they portray it as? Um, they didn't even portray it as X-Men vs. Street Fight. Actually, yeah, they did. It was X-Men vs. No, it was X-Men vs. Capcom. They fucked it up. They fucked up the title on top of it. Um, the purpose of that with Q was just to show that um, girls can compete in tournaments and win as well. Because um, Q competed in the Marvel um, versus Capcom two teams, and the Empire won. So MTV asked us who won in Marvel versus Capcom. We like the Empire. So they was like, all right, we're going to use Q to represent the Empire winning in that game. That Mom. Was, that, huh? Mom in real life. Uh, go Mom? ahead. But you who's this? Uh, that's Key Sonic. Oh, that's Key Sonic. Oh, okay. And I'm like, huh? I didn't know it was, it was someone else. Wait, the radio was on? Yeah. Oh, oh, random. Okay. Well, um, that's what you want. This was a personal conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry yeah, if I you. let you believe otherwise. Uh. No, you didn't really believe otherwise. I just thought it was um, cause um, I heard Random James earlier saying, "Oh, the radio is not up," so I still thought it was down. Oh, okay. But yeah. anyway, so they they just wanted to portray that you know females could compete in in international events like that, which will bolster to get more. They, the girls watch that and they see Q winning, they'll be more like, okay, they'll gain the confidence. I can practice just like any guy and, and compete on an international level. So that was, that was a point. There, there's a lot of politics and hidden um, agendas behind it, both good and bad, as to why the show was displayed like that. But, you know, it's only until we can get get the community established on a media level, then we can start controlling the media, you know, even on an 80% level. But the only control we had was creative control, and I, we let Nagata Lock know that from the beginning. Yo, guys, they're going to express this tournament as like a multi-video game tournament. That's why they put up that board where you saw us checking off win losers. If you even look on our website, which we kept the Apex, the battle log of it, we had what? What, what games we had? We had, um, we had um, Super Puzzle Fighter, Magical Drop, Tetris DS, Darkstalkers, Mortal Kombat 2, all these side games that the Empire was supposed to um, play at Canada. Those were the games Empire versus Canada. But then T7 tournament games, you know, Tekken, Third Strike, those games, those were Canada versus the Empire. The funniest thing is, the only game we actually got legitimately off to play against Canada in was Tetris DS. All the other games got canceled. DDR never even really happened in Canada. They just used that because we promised them multi-game. So, you know, it's, you know, give and take. And, like, Nevada complained that, you know, um, they were, they were, uh, they were represented as, like, bums, like, they were misrepresented, but that's the that's the farthest from the truth. No way, shape, or form in that um that show did they show that like 
we shitted on Canada. They had the part where Canada was booing us and cheering their anthem, and they had us where we was cheering the Star Wars anthem against them, which made us look mad corny, but whatever, you know. So you got you got to start somewhere, and you know, but you know, it's an overall competition. I'm like, the facts are the facts. There was an Empire versus Canada tournament. The games like Super Turbo Alpha 3, Capcom versus SNK, Tetris DS did happen. The Empire did win. And, you know, that's it. And they kept it as close to the facts as possible. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I know a lot of people were complaining, but, like, they have to remember, even after our creative control and yada, 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 and they put together the pilot, when they go to do the final cut and put it on air, we're not in the room for the final cut. We're in the room on the pre-edit. Mm-hmm. So... No matter what we say, in the final cut they're gonna put. Look at look what they they said. Kubu, high rule champion. Motherfucker stuff that has H I G H. What the fuck? <laughs> it's supposed to be H Y R U L E S. But you know it's M T V. What do you, what are you expecting? Mm-hmm. You know, but they came as when you compare that to what G S N did and everything else M T V has done gaming. It was the closest. It, it's a vast improvement. And we only we we hope that the next show after this they improve more, and the next show after that they improve more until they get it as close to perfect as possible. Hey, uh, Alex Valle says, "What's up?" Hey, tell him what's, uh, so what's going on. We, we need more. Oh, I got a topic for you. A real, real slap, grimy slash. Constructive criticism topic. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, wow, I can't believe that came out of Track Force's mouth. But I'm going to keep it real. So real, I don't think the East Coast can take this type of realness. Mm-hmm. They're straight up. I think ECC should evolve or die and let Evo East take over. What's really good? Let's hit that topic. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did you say ECC? ECC, I said it. ECC should evolve or die and let East Coast, you know, East, um, Evo East take over as the new ECC. So, what and, do you, and, what, and, how do you define evolving? What, what do you, evolving okay. to what? Straight up, yo, the venue. The venue has to expand so it can allow larger crowds to come in, more people to play so that the scene can grow. That the scene remains the same, that the place is not big enough. Um, you know, everyone's con- complaining about consoles being integrated with um, the arcade. Uh, people are complaining about uh, faulty. People are complaining on both ends. And, you know, the arcade machines are not uh, working, or the consoles is giving too much problems. Blue screens, pa- offensive pauses, defensive pauses, all types of random shit. And it's like it's the same thing year in and year out. It's gotten to the point where now. You know, last ECC, you know, the a whole two whole genre, like two whole communities, were called felt alienated from the event. And like, like here's, here's something I spoke to a couple of people, um, like big heads in the SR. Not when I mean by big heads, I mean community leaders. I don't mean like egos. There are a couple of community leaders I spoke to on SRK about it. When we first put in four thousand dollars to ECC nine, we the the purpose of doing that we felt was like if we if in order to make the event go it was money so like we were like okay that's like we wanted an impression oh all we need to do is just put in money so the empire internally like put together the money to get to ECC but when we found out that all it went into was raffling a couple of system prizes um, promotional cards for the empire and fixing up the system we was like like I like help to pay the technician whoever they hired the technician to just fix the machine so that they could be operational for Marvel and adding extra money to the pot, we kind of felt disappointed because we was like four grand and that's all that came out of it. Now, we don't want to sit there and point fingers that the money was mismanaged or whatnot or, you know, if we wanted more, we should have put in more. It's not here to point, it, put, point fingers, but we that's when the you know, shock and reality smacked us and it was like money is not it. You know, money's not the only answer. You know, it still needs to be structured. We we didn't we never sat down and put together a plan on how the money was going to be used. We just gave up the money and said, here here's money, 
you know, make ECC big. I mean, that 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 that's the growing pains of starting a, a corporation, especially when you're not, when you're not a business guy, when you're a gamer. So we was like, ah, oh, fuck. So we took the bite on that. But then we expected, all right, ECC nine did so well in terms to the community. Everyone started praising it as one of the top, like the top three ECCs of all time. So we was like, all right, so ECC ten will be better. But ECC ten end up either, or arguably for a lot of people, either being the same. Or, or actually a little bit worse, and that's uh, that's all opinionated. I'm not going to tell you what my opinion on it is. Like, I've heard people say some it was, some of people said it was better, some people said it was worse. And then you have ECC 11, which is you know arguably a downgrade from ECC 10. So it's like you know it it's not it's not moving up. Um, like every look at Texas Showdown. Texas Showdown has argued no, not even argued. Texas Showdown has evolved. That's a fact. Evo has evolved. That's a fact. But, like, ECC hasn't. You know, e- even NEC has evolved. You know, it went from University Pinball from an arcade into, you know, a, a-, a venue that can hold more people to play. And now, even right now, Eric is working on working with key people on the East Coast to try to expand from that venue to even larger venues with more prizes, getting sponsors, and stuff like that. So, ECC has been one of the longest running majors in the East Coast, if not the longest running major in the East Coast. So why is it still, you know, just the break with the break stakes over and over again? And then now that's my question. And I'm not saying, oh, we should cancel ECC. I'm just saying, you know, you know, just logically, you know, time is going by. If ECC does not evolve, it should be terminated. I mean, this is just the growth of any evolution. If something's not going to evolve, it eventually will become extinct, and something better will replace it. That's that's just that's just life. So you know, and if if ECC is not going to do something on the scale of Evo Eats, you know, even though I I I I, I I'm not going to sit here and act like oh I'm a fan or anything. I ripped on Evo Eats. I didn't like it. You know, at first I was talking mad shit. I was like, what the fuck, the Canon, what the fuck, they bring in Evo East to New York, and then they just move it to Connecticut, and I had my, in my take on that, I was, I was kind of displeased about it, then, you know, I had my little trip going, like, how are they going to bring an Evo East here, and then I, at least, they didn't even talk to the Empire, or at least talk to Fee to, to run it, they just brought it over here and did it themselves, you know, that was my take on it, but, you know, uh, you can't please everyone, you know, um, D, DPP runs, do whatever, they have their way, they run things. You know, I don't have to like it, but I have to respect them for how they run their business. Just like they don't, they don't like how I do certain things, but they respect what the Empire does as a business. So fair is fair. But oh, when, I, when I look back at it now, it's like, you know something? They actually have a point, you know. Look, well, look at Evo East and then look at ECC. Well, my so question is this. How come you haven't talked to, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I don't know the, the tournament scene that well, so... Um, I forgot the guy. DSP told me a few times, but I forgot the guy who's the organizer for ECC. But I mean, have you maybe pull him? You know, maybe talk to him about it and ask him. You know, hey. Well, you know. from from the from the last from the last the last time um uh, from what I last found out that was it. For, he was done. ECC ten. We even did an article on our um on our website, and it said he's finished. He's he's done. And like and that and I, I asked him, can I quote him on that? He was like, yeah, I'm finished. So then that's how you know the Josh Wickfall and the um, DSP um, collaboration came up to keep the tradition alive. But then now we're not even sure who's going to run ECC this year. You know, no no talks have been about it from what I've heard. I haven't heard anything yet. So it's like it doesn't matter who's going to run it this year. The point is, will it evolve from what it is? What, what 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 is ECC going to be like in 2007? And, you know, even though a lot of people would think it's a little bit too premature to talk about something like this now, I think now is the best time. Give yourself six months in advance to, you know, to start planning. Is ECC going to be bigger than it is? Will it be in New York this time? Will it be in a better spot in Jersey at, at a larger venue? What is this going to be? Is it going to be console still? Um, it, it, if, if the venue changes... Is it possible for it to be console and arcade where the owners of the break can lease the arcades out? Does the community have enough money to put forth in 
getting this done? Can an organizer get the money to do it? These, these questions need to be, you know, they need to be brought up now. We, we can't wait until, like, March to start talking about stuff like this because then, you know, chances are March comes up, you're left with three to four months, not enough time. And ECC is just going to end up being at the break again. We're going to get 20 to 30 West Coast heads come down all over again. It's going to be the same game. Um, games run off console, games run off um, the arcade, we're playing video games on the pool table again, you know, uh, we, we're harassed by the police officers outside, uh, when nighttime come, we're la- we're, uh, when the night time comes, we're, ha- we're harassed by the police, uh, we're by being in the back, uh, the point is over, we have to go straight to our hotel, I'm like, it's been four years of the same stuff, so I'm like, is it going to change? And I'm like, if not, I, I really believe that another East Coast major should come in and actually just replace it. Just keep that shit real. Stop wasting Memorial Day. And I know a lot of people are gonna hate what I'm saying, but like, yo, if you want, if you want the community to evolve, fuck it. If you just want the East Coast to evolve, look at the West Coast tournament. Look at the West Coast tournament. Look, look, look at the West Coast tournaments. Look at the Midwest tournaments. Uh, where, where's, where's Texas located? Do you consider that Midwest, Midwest or how's... Have I? Have I? So like, how does, where does Texas go? Is that considered Midwest or is that considered West Coast? In terms of, like, SRK funding, not in terms of, like, the actual United States. But, but, but okay, here, here's my, one, one of the things. By the way, Alex wanted to know. Uh, <laughs> as he wanted to know. He wanted to know what are the prerequisites for joining Empire and uh, and um, is like at a, and what can Empire do for him if he were to join? All right, there are two. There are two. Uh, what's this? There are two. There are two are uh, crap. Criteria? I'm, looking, I'm trying to look for, Huh? Criteria? No, no, it's not, it's not a criteria. There are two parts to the empire. Oh. Um, uh, one is called the corporate membership, and the other one is called the community membership. <laughs> I'll, explain, I'll explain how this works. Mm-hmm. All right. Based on the empire's principle that we're supposed to be for the greater gamer community, it would be... It would be hypocrisy or hypocritical for us to turn away anyone who wishes to join Empire Arcadia. Because if you're a gamer, if you play games, whether you're casual or hardcore, we should accept you because we're not elitist. Right? So that is why the Empire Arcadia gamer community has been created. It's where we put all the gamers who wish to be a part of the Empire gamer community. They, they represent the cause of the Empire by participating in social events participating in the um, greater gamer community events or wherever the community that they go to to help inspire other gamers to get more involved to help the scene grow in terms of numbers, population, strength and numbers. Con- as a, as a simple as it gets. In order to be, to be, oh shit, in order to get involved in the corporation now is a total different thing. The corporation requires a lot more. We look for um, gamers who can, um, who have skills outside of gaming, not just, you know, competing or, like, we, we have our, what we call them, executive gamers, you know, call them pro, uh, pro gamers, you know, like, that's industry term or league term. We call them executive gamers, meaning you know, gamers who actually do business, but they can game at the same time. And these gamers play for the organization. They represent the organization. Competing in tournaments is a part of our marketing strategy. Why? When you compete and you win, you market the company because you're marketing the brand. Everyone loves a winner. Everyone takes takes notice to a winner. So it's the simplest marketing scheme ever. And like children can think of this shit. Now, there are some people in the empire who take it further than that. Yes, some people want to be our public relations officers. Some people want to be um, who want to um, you know, be our um, what's this thing? Um, like an um, Ultimo Nuresi. He's our vice president of marketing um, and accounts. Um, Justin, Justin's also on the board. He's our vice president of community affairs. My wife is the executive secretary of the of, of, of the organization. She's also on the board. But then you have also other people who go, well, what can I do for the empire? Can I be some type of an official agent? 
And those people we hire as interns because until the company can generate significant amount of income to employ people outside of the board, we can't hire anyone. So that's how they become the like, that they become by serving as interns. Now, what does the empire give to these gamers for internship, being on the board, and um, representing the company at these tournaments and winning? What we do, and this is uh, for a lot of people who ask what the hell is on the contract. For those who, have, who don't know anything about our contract, unlike these other leagues, Empire Arcadia takes 10% out of any media-related, I'll make it simple, gig that we get you. The Empire tries to enhance gamers' profiles by getting them articles and magazines, um, contracts with other media like shows like what we're doing with MTV, G4, Fuse, BET, anybody who wants to try to promote gaming. And we try to enhance their profiles so that, you know, Nike, fucking Stackers 2, or any random company who has these interesting games that want to sponsor them um, and pay them endorsement fees, um, promotional fees, advertisement fees, that type of thing. Just like what NVIDIA and ATI did with Fatality. That type of thing. Uh, we get those guys those gigs, and uh, when those companies pay them, the empire only takes ten percent out because we're there. Oh, yeah. Let's close it. Close it for them. Hold on for a second. Uh, I gotta lower my voice. Everyone's sleeping now. So I'm um, like, the, the empire uses this uh, prolific um, brand name, Empire Acadia, to get the gamers out there, and uh, we we try to. Um, build up like our key gamers which draws attention to the company which um, then gives the other gamers who are in the community a chance to step their game up and at, and boost, boost their profile so that we can get them um, gigs. It, it, um, in the corporate world in New York we are like stuff called like um, staffing or um, corporations where they help get people jobs. We kind of do that but with games and if you want to look at it like that that's the easiest terminology. And we take our 10% cut. And the reason why we take such a low percentage is because we don't believe that they, we should take any more than 10%, being that the Empire has so, so many gamers that are actually efficient in competing. So if you have, like, 50 or 60 gamers in the Empire who are, who are good enough to compete on a top 5 or top 10 level at these tournaments, and we promote 60 to 70 profile gamers, and you take 10% from each of those gamers, you're talking about seven hundred percent for me. Someone speaking? I can barely hear you. I'm oh, hearing echo. It sounds like a. Hello. Okay. There's a huge echo feedback I'm getting. Is it gone? Okay, it's gone now. All right. Uh, okay. So, like, the company makes its money in chips and, like, little pieces per player so that the players can retain 90% of their value. And, then, you know, we move on from there. Plus, then we have our services and products that we uh, break down in each of the elements, fashion, art, music, health, education, and whatnot. And, like, um, we are supposed to go to this university in January. They want us to do a seminar on the, the culture of gaming. And they want us to also bring some of our pro gamers there so that the, the entire campus can, you know, play with them and whatnot. And we charge a fee for that. And, you know, they, and these services and products that we have that, that are diverse because it's not one particular thing. Oh, we just play tournaments and win our money. That money comes into the Empire. And we use that money to um, create our uniforms, um, or pay for our housing and our transportation when we go to large events. And that we're not sponsored by and blah blah blah. Hey, well, what, what Alex wanted to know is like, how come you never asked him to join? I don't ask anyone to join. The, the empire, the I, I have, I have, I, okay, I, let's not use the word never. I have, re, I rarely ask people to join. I, I, the only people I ask to join the empire are the are the like the culturally dedicated gamers, gamers who look like they want to do something with themselves on a career basis. It, is not, it has nothing to do based on their winning. 
right? They want to make a name for themselves and at the same time making a name for themselves and use that power to do something to help the community grow. Only those guys I race after. Like, when I, uh, when I first spoke to Issa at Chinatown, my major thing, I had nothing to do with him winning Star Trek. I could care less, is that we needed, when we heard that Issa was going to go back to Japan in nine months, at the time when I, I went um, there, we wanted him to become so immersed with the empire here in America that when he's ready to go to Japan, I can make him an official agent or officer in the empire, and he can start a chapter or division in Japan about Empire Stadium from over here. That's the point I went out to East. I don't give a fuck about his third strike winning. I don't give a shit about that. I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. And, you know, it's, it's not what you win, it's what you do with your winning. That's what matters. It's like, it's like knowledge. You know, knowledge means nothing. Knowledge applied means everything. So I'm like, nothing against you, Alex Valle, but I'm like, uh, um, I didn't, I just thought you, to, in, straight up, I just thought you were just a guy who just liked being in the community and playing the game over and over in each tournament, year by year, you know, you know keeping your game up to par where you can compete with the best. It, it's not like, you know, I was under the impression you wanted to do more. Like when, when me and the Ultimo Noreski spoke to this guy, um, Duck Duo at EVO, you know, Duck was like, yo, he's really considering joining the Empire only because he wants to do more for himself uh, um, on a personal level as a gamer and more for his community. You know, he's getting too old just coming around playing Marvel every Evo. That's not going to cut it for him and his family. So he, when he heard about the business aspect, he was like, yo, fuck it. You know, he's really considering that. And you go, when, when a lot of people find out, like, a lot of people right now are listening to this and they're like, well, Triforce, if the Empire was like this, why didn't you tell us all in the beginning? And um, the real reason was we didn't, we, the company was starting, it was in its infant stage, and we didn't want clones to compete against. If we had, you know, people who heard our ideal, they said, okay, let's copy the same ideal, get our brand of um, the best players, start locking up all the best players, and then compete against the Empire, then now the Empire's like, oh, boy, now we got to go through battling these guys, and it, and it differs from what we're trying to do globally. And I'm like, People are going to do it now, but, like, everyone's going to know anyway because MTV put us out there. So now that's why, you know, I'm so free in, like, it, giving out all this information. People are going to find out now anyway. So it's like we better be ready for these clone um, companies that's trying to do the same thing like the Empire, and we better be ready to fight them, you know, to stay on top. It, it is still a business at the same time. So it's like i got to manage both business and community, and that shit is a pain in the ass. What you know, Alex was just saying it. Well, he's like, well, have you checked out his thread? You should check out his thread on SRK. You know, rush that shit down. Cause, you know, he's posting live feeds on you know, for those who want to learn. You know, anniversary edition, uh, slash Super Turbo, um, slash Third Strike. You know, he's you know he did that all out of pocket. You know, and uh, you know to help you know gamers it improve their game and stuff like that. So um, I am not aware of that because when I go on SRK. You know, straight up, I I like I like SRK because of funniness on it. I just don't like when the funniness turns into other random shit. But like for the most part, I like I only go to like fight. I go to like Gen discuss based on what topics are there that involves the community or fighting game discussion that involves the community or like the tournament threads and the results because like we have to take the results and put it in our battle log. And or any tournaments that we we're trying to create drama in to bring out numbers so people can attend and stuff like that. I'm like, so I'm like, I apologize, if, you know, but I didn't. I, those are the only things I checked, so I never got like, I never got a heads up. But you know, you guys can just shoot me a PM, you know. I'm like your triforce, you know. This is what I'm doing. Um, how, we'll call, how can I put this, uh, you know? for myself or for the community or how can I implement this through Empire Acadia I, you know I'll definitely you know, take notice to that and take a look at it and see how we can work that out but you know outside of that if you don't PM me I don't check any other thread on SRK just those four it's not solid Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because there's you know, the live feed, you know, is, he was saying the live feed, that's um, something that was brand new to the community. Um, he says you know about the live feed, at least Justin knows about it. The live feed? Yeah, cause what, he's what? Doing, yeah, he's doing a live feed over the internet of him playing, you know, casual matches. Um, between himself and Apple Legend and a few other players. Uh, no, I wouldn't know about that. I'm like, you know, believe it or not, like I keep telling people, I'm like, I like fighting games, but really I'm a casual, I'm a casual fighter. I'm like, I like my OG games, action adventures, races and puzzles, and some of the new gen stuff. But like fighting, for me, you know, I, I tell you how corny I am. I play fighting games for the storyline to see the, the the depth of the character in terms of the story. I'm like, all that roll canceling and unblockables and all that other tech shit in advance. And I, 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 it doesn't, I don't care. I literally don't care because when when fighting games came to a point where I like, you know, you're great, but it depends on the character you pick will determine the percentage of your winning. And to me, that's when I stopped playing fighting games, you know, hardcore. I was like, wow, you know, I can't pick my favorite character and, and win off of my skill. I have to pick. It's not saying that you can't do that now, but, like, if you put things in perspective and you say, okay, you get a, a master Ryu player, and then you get a master um, Yun player in third strike. I'm like, Ryu, no, Yun is the favorite. Yun has the best chance of winning. You know, they're both parrying, but once Yun builds up enough meter and he activates, it's, it, it's, against, it's humanly against Ryu to parry everything. And, and Yun can punish him and make him bleed. And then Ryu, Ryu better hope he has, Ah man, he has such a, he he has a you know a uphill battle, and when a game does that to you based on a character, that's when you know what's the sense of playing it. It's like Mario Kart when you want when you when you had that's why like we had this debate when we was in NEC and we was talking about which is the best Mario Kart, and literally I had to concede that the Super Nintendo was the best one. Why? Because the Super Nintendo was based on you driving on the track. While you're driving, you have to be able to stay on the track, collect coins so your speed can go up, because the more coins you have, the faster you go. And the items in the game were fair. The, the, you know, there was no, you, you can actually try to dodge a red show, right? There were no, there were no, what's the word for this? Like lightning. Okay, I get, I get second place behind you. You're winning. I lightning you and I beat you. I'll just, I'll just stay behind second place until the third lap, keep within range, get lightning, and just, come on, that's nonsense. And so the Super Nintendo was the most balanced version. But when they made the, um, the, 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 what's the name of this version? The 64 version and the DS version, and they, they you know, you're supposed to be, if you stay behind a car, you're supposed to have that rubber band effect and pull forward. That's a regular race, drafting or drifting, not, not, not drafting. That's an actual racing physics. But you don't need that if you can snake. So it defeats the purpose of the game. It's just like roll canceling in CBS 2. You know, you, you put a person to the floor, and you're like, okay, I can finish them off. Tiger, Rage, get up. Hadouken, it goes right through. And then you go, oh, it's skill. Skill my ass. It's a fucking glitch. You're supposed to be dead. You, you use the glitch to break, bend the rules of the game to give you a chance to, to live. I'm like, you're supposed to be dead. You know, and then people go, oh, no, accept it. And except what? And, and and now you have a whole bunch of people who are like, okay, I want to learn CBS 2. Every every time I hear someone go, I want to learn CBS 2, what's the first thing they learn? Go cancel. Are you serious? You, the first move you learn in a, ga a game is a glitch. You don't even learn how to use utilize the moves, the, the standard moves of your character or learn the fundamentals of your character. You learn the glitch first, and then you build your entire fighting game around your glitch. That is so fucking stupid. Hey, uh, Alex says, play, play ST then. It's the fairest Street huh? Fighter you can play. No, you're, you're right. That's the closest Street Fighter you can play, but guess what? It's also the oldest. What they need to do is make a new Street Fighter based on the Super Turbo engine. That's what Capcom needs to do. And, like, and until they do that, we'll, we'll resort to playing this nonsense. This, this is fucking garbage. He is right, but then you got to understand that. Not everyone wants to play the same game 10 years 
you know, a 10-year-old game and keep running it. Come on, man. You know, we get tired after it. That's like saying, oh, well, why don't Capcom make Street Fighter 1 all over again? Fix, give it all street, the, um, new commands where the, the commands actually work. You can't throw a fireball because, like, I can throw fireballs, I can do DPs, and I can do cyclone kicks consistently in Street Fighter 1. But, like, how many people can fucking do that shit? And you know how long it took me to do it to find the actual button command to actually do it consistently? And, you know, Justin was like, wait a minute, you just throw five fireballs in a row. How do you do that? I got to keep shit like that a secret. <laughs> I'm not going to tell no one. What, mm-hmm. like, who, who the fuck wants to play Street Fighter 1 in 2007? You know, so perhaps they should take an event. Okay, let's use Third Strike's graphic engine or analytic. No, let's use Guilty Gear's graphic engine, right, as a new Street Fighter game using the Super Turbo engine. And then, um, yeah, I guess, I guess if you use, nah, you use, a, you use the Guilty Gear graphic. Yeah, I said it right. The Guilty Gear graphic engine with the Super Turbo um, fighting engine with the Street Fighter characters. I'm like, I think that, I think that would be something nice. Why not just play Guilty Gear? Because a lot of people, uh, well, Guilty Gear. I, well, first of all, I can't, I can't comment on the Guilty Gear characters. I am not proficient in Guilty Gear at all. Last Guilty Gear game I played was Guilty Gear, and <laughs> so I, I don't know if there's any balances or mismatches in that game. So I don't know what to say. But like, for those who want to play traditional Street Fighter, that's 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 what that's the um, angle I'm on. Like, yeah, you're right. If you want, like, if you want to evolve, evolve, just play, if you want to evolve and play a, a new 2D fighter game, why don't you just play Guilty Gear? But you know, I guess not everyone wants to play Guilty Gear. Like, you have this community, but like, Capcom numbers, nah. I don't know what to say about that. Hmm. Nah, I really don't. Well, <laughs> well, Alex was talking about. Well, you were talking about. Street Fighter, you know, there's a, there's a, well, I mean, that's a little, at least, I mean, next next year should be a 3D, 3D Fighters uh, paradise, because, you know, you got Virtual Fighter 5 coming out, and Tekken 6 coming out, and uh, presumably so Calibur 4. Uh, uh, unfortunately, man, uh, I'm sorry to say, I really don't, the way, the, from what I know in the industry and what I see coming, I really don't see I, I really, really don't see a future for the 2D game. The only, the literally, the only way the 2D games are gonna ever survive is literally attaching the game to the actual gamers who have personality that these media industries can sell. Literally, that that's the only way to save those games. Like finding a Jim Master or a Brahe, these loud guys or these quirky guys or uh, um. And I'm not trying to diss him, but, you know, it is what it is, you know, in terms of appearances, gay-looking guys like Ricky or quirky-looking um, guys who are kind of funny like Bronson and just attach the games to them and then say, well, actually, you can't use Bronson. Bronson doesn't. Bronson plays um, Tekken. But, um, yeah, like, guys like that, you have to find these guys, market them. When they become big and people want to see more of them, then you attach the, um, the 2D game to them. That's the only way they're going to live in. When you do that, they won't even live long neither. I give it two, three years tops, and that's being massively generous, you know, because, like, games like Dead or Alive, Tekken 6, Virtua Fighter 5, Smash Brothers Brawl, you're looking at, you're looking at a new age of fighters. Naruto's coming up, too? Yo, be done. It's, I'm telling you, it's, man, it's finished. It's over. Street Fighter is coming to an end. And unless Capcom says... All right, we're going to drop Street Fighter 4. But what I don't understand is when you look at all these new 3D engines and these motherfuckers have been doing the EX series for Street Fighter, how could they have not perfected a, a 3D engine for Street Fighter yet? I'm like, with the power of the 60th PS3, you would think they could create... I'm like, all right, you can, you can literally rip the Tekken engine off. You know that, that thing Jin has, like that dragon punch looking move? You can steal that whole 3D model if you want to and say, okay, that's a dragon punch and, and whatnot. And they can make a, new, a 3D Street Fighter if they want to. But 
Just, just like I said about ECB, if you guys don't evolve, they sh- they sh- they're gonna get rushed. They're gonna get rushed out, and you know, literally, like I said, the guys in the matrix, you know, your time is up. You know, you are the way of the dinosaur. So, is it is it is not even clear who's running ECC next year, at least? Who is running ECC? I don't know. You I tell me. I have no idea. I'm just, I was just, well, like, what have you? I mean, what have you heard of who's running ECC? If, if no. the, if the original I guy think, is done, um, I think ECC should merge with Evo East, straight up. Todd I think it should be with Evo East, because yo, it's stupid to have, you know, uh, it's stupid to have. And, and props out to the guy who actually said this, but I don't want to reveal his name right now because I don't know what type of um, consequences it may, um, you know, bring upon him if I say who said this. Someone in um, the SRK community said, it's stupid to hold ECC on Memorial Day, and then a couple of weeks later, you had um, Evo East. It's like, you know, the people don't have that type of money to travel twice in such a short period of time. So Evo East and ECC merging would actually be something good. I'm like, it helps the community. And at the same time, it's like having your cake and eat it too. It helps the community and keeps the tradition alive. But hey, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was just, no, I was just thinking. Um, ever since they had a, well, I, I, I see what you're saying. I mean, it is. I mean, it's true that um, that it does seem. A little bit too close together to have e- if it, if it's indeed separated by just two or three weeks, um, then it is. I mean, I can see the validity of, of saying that. Uh, um, uh, and you know, straight up, Evo needs a, ca- a, a casual room where people can just play random games and have a spectator fee. Straight up, and they should encourage people to come out. You know, for spectating. Straight up, it should 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 be a event. And literally, you know, I really want to try to like do that with the Empire. Try to get the Empire big enough so it's such a large name. I'm like, okay, Empire is going to Evo and just bring the mainstream people with us. The only thing is that the SRK has to behave itself because you know I, I know how SRK how they take after like people outside of their community coming in to see their shit. I'll be treating them just like how y'all treat me, like dog shit. That shit is not cool, trust me. You want the mainstream help. You want to be on their side because they'll own you for it. You can't stop them. It's too much of them. It's too many numbers. It's not happening. They, their mainstream will fuck y'all all up free and not even blink. Like, give my motherfucking money. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Mainstream is so bullshit. <laughs> I hate that shit. But whatever. It is what it is. Well, that does present a a a, a problem. Um, as far as. Yeah, Evil East and ECC is concerned just within, within a couple of weeks of each other. Um, I mean, a, a consolidation would seem to be an, a, an, a, a viable alternative, although um, I think that uh, is, I think that one of the problems I, w- I would see with that is that uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of people, especially those who regularly participate, yeah. Um, at ECC would frown at the idea of combining with EVO. They actually like the fact that it's separate from evolution. It's something that they do on their own. But then you have to have a question, you know. All right. All right. Yeah, man. Okay, 6,400. Remember that, Triforce, 6,400. All right. Um, 
we understand that they're going to frown at the ideal, but you have to ask yourself a question. You know, you're frowning at the ideal based on what merit. I'm like, you know, you have an opportunity to, to advance, you know, your um, advance things, and you're frowning why? I'm like, people, it's like when TV told us, oh, what they really want to do with the empire versus Canada, you know, we weren't happy because we were like, oh, my fucking God, hate media. Yada yada yada, but you know we have to. You have to bend a little. You can't. You can't. You can't be so. You can't be so. You know. What's the word for this? Damn trifles! Your addiction fucking sucks. You can't be so. You know, straightforward. I'm like, you have to give a little. I'm like, not. Not bending a little. You, you know, you have to sometimes compromise. You don't have to conform. No one's asking the, um, the East Coast community to conform to things, but you have to compromise if you want shit to, um, to, to, to last. Not compromising does not help the situation. Not compromising only will kill the community. I'm dead ass. You, know, you, you have to compromise a little. And there's a lot of things that go, in, go on in the empire that I really hate, but I'm like, for the better good overall, I have to suck it up and like, all right, you know, something. Let it happen. Like, for instance, the the principle of the empire is that we accept any anyone who's a gamer, right? But then we have, we know at the same time we're gonna have spies, we're gonna have motherfucking you know people who just bullshit if they just want to join the empire because either we're popular or there's a fucking deal around Justin and Ricky and then the top players and shit like that. So they're fucking wagon riders and shit. Like we we don't know that shit's gonna happen. But then at the same time, you know, for the overall good, we, we got to compromise. We got, you know, we can't just be like, nah, no one joins the empire unless you're nice. What type of bullshit is that? Okay, if I can offer just a little bit of a, of, of a different plain devil advocate again for a second. As far as the MTV fine, I think that you'll have a hard time selling that if there is a pattern where, you would say, well, you know, you got to give a little to get, you know, to, to get a little. It's like, but if it's a pattern where, in, you know, no, if it's a pattern, if a pattern where the empire it looks good, but the person they, what the group that they play against looks like, you know, shitty. Oh, and, we, 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 you know, no, then we they're gonna, have, you're not gonna get, you know, I don't think you're gonna get a lot of supporters on that. We we spoke we spoke about we we had a meeting about that and we was like, you know, that, that we have an answer to that all, already. We don't want to make the empire invincible. When you make the em- when you make the empire invincible, nothing under the sun. We hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Oh, if you make the empire invincible, nothing under the sun that we do will ever change from people's mind that we're elitists. Period. If you're invincible, you are an elitist. That's just how it is. Mm-hmm. So we already have. Like I, I already spoke to them and I told them that you know. Um, if they if these guys decide to pick up the season contract, because what they did from us was called, called a promotional contract. But if they pick up the season contract and they give us they're supposed to give us like ten shows in from 2007, then we want to do like a show three or four where we take an L. You know, you have to you have to you know put these dramas. Not saying we're gonna actually forfeit or like um, sandbag and lose the tournament from purposely. But we you know we want to put episodes where the empire gets a little bit too cocky and make uh, and put themselves in positions where it's like what the hell no you're not gonna win but we think we're so good that we are and that we take an L and it's a humbling defeat for us and you know something a moral is learned that oh there's no there's no I in team some shit like that I'm like we, we already plan on doing that shit you know we our, our show has educational value to it we're gonna do those things. Well, so I'm, I'm like not talking about, but I'm not talking about in, this, in the vein of making Empire look, in, uh, you know, immortal or invincible or anything like that. But if it, if there's a pattern where, you know, whatever group that they're actually going against in the tournament uh, look like, you know, they're retarded or look like they don't play or they can't play or make the difference, um, make it a lot, you know, a lot bigger than it really actually was in the tournament, then you might get a whole lot of. You might, you know, but may not get a whole lot of support from those, you know. All right. And, and now, now, in defense of that, in defense of that statement, in order for that statement to even have any validity, you have to look at the fact that, like, 
first of all, that that statement appears to imply that we made Canada appear inferior or anything to the um, anything relevant to what you just said. And the the fact is, we did not make Canada look inferior. Mm-hmm. In fact, MTV didn't even make Canada look inferior. There's one point in the tournament where Canada tied with us, and at the end of the tournament, the Empire ran away with it. First of all, the truth. The truth of the matter is the Empire dominated Canada. That's the truth. I'll forget the TV show. I'm like, we lost Third Strike. We lost Tekken. So we won CBS. We won Super Turbo. We won Alpha 3. Um, we won Smash Brothers. We won Tetris DS. What else did they have there? Um, we ran... Well, not we... Uh, um, Guilty Gear. I think he features lost Guilty Gear, period. The team tournaments we dominated. And then the, the sad thing is... Huh? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. The team the team tournament we dominated in. I'm like, we won we won C B S, we won Marvel, we won Smash, we won um no, we lost Tekken. We did we win Dead Strike? Dead Strike. Yeah, we got raped in Dead Strike actually. But I remember that. Um and um well, that I won't even count Tetris uh, um, as a team tournament. I, I won't even count that shit because that's kind of random. Um, but overall, we won. We won in the team tournament. Um, but no one's so no one's disputing that. But I mean, I'm just saying this. I mean, I'm not talking about. I mean, I'm sure the facts is the Empire did won did did win. But you know, it's one of those things where perception is reality. My point is, yep. if it gets to the point where there are other spots in the future where. You know the empire. You know looks great, and the other team just looks like a, you know it's a can of beans. No, but, you know, but then they're gonna, you're not going to get a whole lot of people who's going to take that seriously. No, we're going. That's but that's what we're trying to say. There, there will be time. We, what we need for other teams to step up and actually beat or make up, let like, you know, you know, show that they're they're great too. That there are other great teams in the um the greater game of. That, that's what I that's what I meant when I said what I said, and I'm like that that happens that happens in real life and and what we want to do in the media. We can't win every event. It's it's not it's it wouldn't be wise to win every event. So we have to set it up. We take an L. We just have to. You know that's just how it is. I'm like if we win everything, shit's gonna look bad. Period. No one. It's, it's like the Yankees. If the Yankees keep fucking winning, that's why people don't like the Yankees now. Because, like, five years ago, back then in the 90s, Yankees was fucking raping everyone for you. This is like 26 World Championships? No, no, not 26. Wait, is it 26 World Championships? I think so, right? Or is yeah, that so just it's um, some absurd number? But, yeah, whatever. But the, 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 the Yankees is the most dominant force in baseball. Soon people just start to naturally hate because it's like they're like, man, those guys are so good. Why are they even playing in a tournament? So we or or in the, like the league. So we know that we're not gonna make clowns of everyone. And you know, in the Empire show, we we've already even discussed with these people that sometimes some Empire shows that we um, that they're gonna do, we wanna highlight non-Empire people, like people who are just in the community. They have no ties to any particular organization, and they're great, and we want to just highlight them, period, because perhaps because of something that they do that's so culturally um, immersive that we like, yo, we should just highlight. Like, all right, there's um, one of the footage that these guys took. They didn't put in the show. There's a kid called Royal Lance, right? Um, Royal Lance, uh, we met him at Neutral Grounds when they was taking footage at Neutral Grounds, which they didn't even use in the film, but I think... Um, according to what they told me, that they want to use as, as future episodes, like small fillers, when they um, try to put together like um, for, okay, episodes for the season, um, and just make a whole neutral grounds episode. What neutral grounds is? Neutral grounds is a tournament center for cards, PC, and console games in New York. Literally, it's an actual tournament center. Can hold about 300 gamers in there and whatnot. And a lot of the gamers in the New York community go there. When we did our opening um, episode, the first episode was, um, well, our opening shooting, actually. Um, it was at Neutral Grounds. We all gathered there because we were, had a Smash Brothers class that we were trying to uh, start. And where we just, uh, we told gamers that we met online, and they met us on the forum, and they was like, we want to learn Smash Brothers. So we told them, meet us at Neutral Grounds on Sunday at 1 o'clock. From 1 to 3, we're having classes. And 
that um, you know the Empire's Team Deadly Alliance would teach them how to play the game. So the the guys at MTV wanted to record that because they felt that that was something important to record. Us gamers teaching other gamers how to play the game. So this kid Royal Lance comes up and he goes, you know, he's the best in Staten Island and Marvel's Capcom 2 and he's undefeated. No one in Staten Island can beat him. So I said, have you been to Chinatown? And he says, no. I said, do you know who Justin Wong is? He's like, no. He said, do you know who Sapper Kelly is? He's like, no. So I said, I don't think that um, you should be as confident in your boasting that no one can beat you in the game. And he said, no, no one, I, no one can. So Justin looked at him and smiled and said, you know, we can go to Port Authority and, you know, we can take this to um, the sticks. So he said, yeah, he went there. He got raped, right? Now, this guy's not a part of the Empire. He's got raped. And he said, well, at least I didn't let Justin get a perfect on because the stipulation was Justin was going to get a perfect on him and beat him. But, you know, he stopped Justin from getting a perfect on him. You know, a month after that, the kid ends up joining the Empire. But MTV didn't get that part where he joined the Empire. MTV just got the part where, you know, he was talking all this trash and he wanted to try to um, prove that he was good and whatnot. They interviewed him and everything. And he was on the, he was on the shooting, but he was not a part of the Empire. I'm um, like, things like that, and more like it doesn't have to always be something competitive. It could be something outside of competition, you know, any one of the other elements that we do. But stuff like that we want to um, also focus on outside. We don't want to just focus solely on the empire. We want to make people know that, look, the empire is a tool that it's using itself to use the media to, uh, to expose the greater gamer community. So although the show... The show's main focus is on us. We want to have a sub focus where it's on the community as well. And uh, I, I guess the, the first project of, of for Canada was good. It, we all know it could have been better, but it's a lot better than what these the other M- shows that MTV has done. So we got we got to look toward we got to look towards the future and work with MTV in improving how they cover us and how they cover the greater gamer community and try to get more done and as close to the truth as possible. Right. That that would be my answer to um, your statement. Okay. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to get running here. i um, got to get to sleep, and hopefully I get a phone call from uh, Bank of America tomorrow regarding my possible job there. Um, oh, good luck with that, man. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm pulling for you. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to get some, trying to like scrounge up some money so I can get myself a beater because you know my car got repossessed and all this stuff. So I'm trying to like scrounge up money and get a beater so I can get to and from work. But um, yeah, it's uh, going. It's be- it's certainly better than it was about those two weeks ago. But uh, yeah, man. Um, thanks for coming on and ans- you know answering some questions and. You know, you'll probably have some more in the future. Okay, no, no problem. All right? All right, man. Well, you have a good night. All right. Yo, night, Ski. All right, night. night. All right, good night, man. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think we're just about done. All right. Good night, everybody.